La donna è nobile, qual più mal vento, muta d'accento e di pensiero. Sempre una amabile, leggia droviso, in pianto in riso, e menzognero. La donna è nobile, qual più mal vento, muta d'accento. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast coming to you live from Isla Vista, Santa Barbara County, California. Every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, I am your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. Next Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, before our Dating Talk podcast, I will be interviewing Dr. Warren Farrell one-on-one at one, about approximately 1.30 p.m. Pacific. So guys, please tune in. Also, this channel is viewer supported, so please consider sending a super chat Throughout the show, I will read Super Chats $10 and up. All Super Chats will be displayed in stream overlay. We've got channel memberships, Patreon. Oh, is it happening again? Yeah, just uh, I'll, I'll fix it, but I'll, I'll go through this, but don't show the stuff. So we've got channel memberships, Patreon merch. All links are in the description. To become a channel member, hit that join button below. We have six different tiers of support, a ton of perks. If you gift subs, I will read your chat along with it in lieu of a super chat. So you can just leave a regular su- a regular chat along with two gifted subs or more, and then I'll read it. We're also streaming to Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow. And if you have Amazon Prime, you could sub to us totally free with the Prime sub. If you wanna be on the show or help the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. Uh, we need chat mods, timestamps, help with making clips, studio hand, talent coordinator, I'll pay for a talent coordinator. Anyways, uh, we're gonna have the guests introduce themselves, so please, Tell us your name, age, occupation, and or school major. Go ahead. Okay. I'm Jasmine. Um, I'm 22, and I go to UCSB. I'm a chem major. I'm Kitty. I'm 21. I also go to UCSB, and I'm a psychology major. I'm Nikki. I'm 21, and I also go to UCSB, and I'm also a psych major. (laughs) Uh, I'm Kylie. I'm 20. I go to UCSB, but I'm currently a host, server, and OnlyFans enthusiast. What's up, you guys? My name is Tristan. I'm 22, and I'm going back to Santa Barbara City College. My name is Luke. I'm 19, and I go to Santa Barbara City College. Kylie, OnlyFans enthusiast. Oh, my God. You bring this <laughs> why? up every right time. Out the game, right out the it's game. every time. But, like, why? I just think it's funny. I literally have a fanny pack that has the OnlyFans link on it, and I wear it to Deja's. But... Promotion. Only fans. I, I mean, I said it last time. And only fans enthusiasts. By the way, welcome back. It's been what two Thank months or something. You. Yeah. No. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You haven't invited me. So. I've. You've been. <laughs> you said you've been busy with yeah, work. Yeah. I, so. I have. And only fans. So. Um, all right, guys. Everyone's Instagrams are in the description. Show. Show. Show them some love. Give them a follow. Sugar daddies in the chat. To, you know what to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're gonna go around the table once more. What is your current relationship status? Longest relationship. And are you currently on any dating apps? Go ahead. Um, I'm currently in a relationship a little bit more than two years. This is my longest relationship, and I'm not on any dating apps. I'm in a relationship um, a year is my longest relationship, and I am not on any dating apps. I'm currently in a relationship, and (laughs) my... Longest relationship was four years, and I'm not on any dating apps. Damn. Uh, I am currently in a relationship, and my longest relationship was three and a half years, I think. I am currently not in a relationship, but it's it's complicated. It's complicated. Long, long story. Um, but, and longest relationship, two years. Wait, hold on. It's complicated. Yeah, it's wait, very what complicated. I know, I know you guys are going to want to know. (laughs) You were dating a girl who's been on the show. Yeah. What happened? (laughs) 
a lot honestly it's it's mainly like extended space i guess more like but so are you single yes yes yeah we can so then why is it complicated because it's more like it's up in the air you, know? you guys are still hooking up no oh damn. but it's up in the air yeah okay so you're in negotiations <laughs> I need to see you a couple more days a week. <laughs> no, no. Then we can be some. Well, no, what, it, it's on? honestly just such a long story. It just gets pretty deep. But like, okay. it's mainly like in a complicated state. Was it? Was it because of Chris? Chris, <laughs> who the fuck is Chris? Chris, you know Chris. You were there. I don't remember Chris. 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 Whatever, Chris. Oh, Chris. oh, no, no. no. <laughs> so, yeah, tri- guys, I don't know if you remember. It was like three three months ago. For those of you who are maybe new to the show, Tristan was on the show when my previous uh, producer quit live on air. So I was wondering if maybe that. It's all fucking Chris's fault. It's all yeah, Chris. just blame it, on, blame it on Chris. It's all Chris. Blame it on Chris. Um, okay, so y'all, w- and when did you guys split up, so to speak? About a month. A month ago. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know. I know. Nobody knows because I still have posts on my Instagram. So it's just no, like. No, literally, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm single. I went. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. No. It's just it's staying up right now. Okay. And uh, Luke, I am single, and my longest relationship was six months, and I'm not on any dating apps. Hey Eric, can you uh, just star the uh, membership that we got? Just so I can show them out. Actually, just show it. I'll, Shane, hey, thank you for becoming a member, man. Really appreciate it. By the way, guys, our lowest tier is $5. So uh, please uh, consider supporting us. And if you do two gifted memberships, I'll treat that as a super chat. So just write a regular message. We'll have Eric keeping a lookout for whoever gifts two memberships or more. And if you write a regular super chat or regular chat uh, immediately proceeding, no, no, that'd be before. Immediately after you gift, we will uh, treat that like a super chat. Okay, so all the girls are in relationships. <laughs> I, yeah. So I don't know how that's going to play out here on the show. And then, wait, and all the lads are single. Single, single. okay. Classic. Yeah, typical. <laughs> Actually, typical, yeah, typical. Typical. But, um, okay, so, and sorry, guys, I had to get up there really quick. So, don't mean to have it be repeated for the viewers really quick just all in relationships longest how long have y'all been dating your current boyfriend repeat it again how long have you been dating your current boyfriend um like a little bit more than two years oh wow okay what about you a day a, here hold it <laughs> into the day a day we just started dating today <laughs> Fresh. how does Congratulations. how does that <laughs> how does that work we dated before we just got back together today mm. You just got back together today. Yes. But is it long distance? What's the situation? Yes, it is long distance. It's long distance. That's rough. Yeah. I don't know how people can do that. Long distance is long distance <laughs> is hard. rough. And he's I rough. That, you no. you said before the show he's driving to come see you tonight. Yeah. So you guys been talking the past few days, reconciling or what? Oh no no he was planning on coming anyways. Planning then, on coming yeah. to see you? Yeah. Or for other reasons? To see me. <laughs> but. Ha- he was already planning to come see you, was, but you were not yet back together. No, but we were together. We just made it official today, but we were basically together. Oh, you were, okay. Yeah. Okay, and does he go to school like up north or what? Yeah, he something? plays football in the Bay Area. Football? Yeah. Wide receiver? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Is he taller than you? Yeah, he's 6'3". Yeah, like, wide receiver's got to be. NFL or college? That's, oh, he's in college. Oh, okay. All right. NFL. Huh. <laughs> okay. And who initiated the I want to get back together thing? Because you said you guys were bef- together previously. We actually broke up a year ago today. Ah, it's your anniversary. Well, yeah. Breakup anniversary. Yeah. It's a breakup <laughs> anniversary. Okay. Yeah. So who initiated the getting back together? Originally? Yeah. Him. It was him? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wow. What about you? How long have you been seeing your... Uh, year and a half. Year and a half, okay. Uh, and five months, almost. Five months, okay. And you guys do OnlyFans together, huh? Is he is featured? <laughs> yeah, is he featured in yeah. your OnlyFans? I mean, no face, no case, but yeah. 
no f- so he doesn't no show f- his face on the only I mean, fans. now they do I, technically. Oh, you don't show your face? so it's kind of that, like, no face. Can you imagine if, like, someone on the OnlyFans, like, just, they could literally screenshot any picture? Well, I mean, it depends what you're posting, because I know you could just post, like, thirst traps and not be, like... So you guys post explicit stuff. <laughs> 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 All right. Does that give you, like, a boost in money by doing, like, oh, yeah. a relationship OnlyFans? For sure. Because, I definitely considered because it because the people in OnlyFans are like, <laughs> this could be me. Be. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, it, how does that affect your guys' relationship, though? Oh, we were just like really open about it. Like in the beginning, when we were still friends, I was like, by the way, in case this goes anywhere, like I just want to let you know, like I do have an OnlyFans. I'll stop if you want me to. Oh damn! So and you he hopped was, in it. Yeah, he was like, oh, he was okay. like, no, it's fine. Just like don't sell nudes anymore. And I was like, okay. And it was easy as that. Does he get a cut? I was about I to mean, ask. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I, I take him out to dinner. <laughs> all right, so, like, I all right. Buy him some Chipotle. <laughs> so Wait, works. so but he doesn't he doesn't directly get a cut. I asked him if he want. Like I offered. Genuinely, really? I was like, well, I'll give you like a portion of whatever I make off of the certain like pictures that we do together. And he was like, no, it's okay. Is he a student? College student? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Wow. Got some, got some. Right. What do you what do you do with Big people that like space. know that's your OnlyFans? Because obviously you have the link posted like on your maybe your page or something, mm-hmm. so people know. People, I mean, uh, my parents know that I have an OnlyFans. Oh. How so, do they feel about that? Um. Well, that's the thing is like <laughs> they don't have to they don't have to pay for as much of my rent anymore, so they're like whatever. Like, well, have they see, have they seen? No, <laughs> no, okay. bro, no. Oh. How, how much are you making? Um, well, recently I haven't been doing it as much because I've been like focused on work and like sure. financial stuff that isn't morally challenging. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but a decent amount, I would say like a couple thousand a month, even even if it's like slow. If um. you did it more consistently, because I mean, we had some <coughs> OnlyFans girls on here last week and they say they post every single day. Do you post every day? Oh, no, definitely not. Okay. Do you think that you could do like 10k if you tried harder? If I or would yeah, that be tough? I've only advertised it like once or twice on social media, and I've had a bunch of people like offer to be OnlyFans manager or whatever. <clears throat> Maybe like, oh yeah, like just post every day, like just post bikini pictures or something. And I'm like, eh, I probably could. I could make a lot more if I actually wanted to. It's just, it's just a little side hustle. You know what I mean? Hmm. Not committed to the. You never, Sex worker life. You never answered my question, though, about your oh. friends that, like, that know and they've seen your pictures. How do you feel about that, though? Like, they see your... I mean, if they're my friends, like, like well, not even just, just like, I guess, fine, mutual. Well, I mean, people that, like, you know, but you're not, like, you wouldn't consider friends, you know? Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to Dages and they're seeing me in a bikini anyways, <laughs> like, fuck it, I don't really care. Because I'm not posting, like, really scandalous stuff on my feed. They would have to buy it. And I'm like, if you're... Mm down horrendous enough to be buying my nudes as my friend like but, what the fuck but for sure like if anything that would probably make those people that know you like more interested be like oh shit i know this person like they'd probably spend that money weirdly enough i mean i would hope not <laughs> but like no, you, there's but some, it's definitely happened for sure I'm people sure. do that okay <laughs> <laughs> so right. i mean on the topic of only fans so have you three ever considered starting <laughs> only fans no. It never like crossed your mind like, hmm, maybe I should. Nah, I she mean, for sure thought of it. <laughs> I saw your face. No, I have. Well, I'm in moments where I'm like broke. I definitely like, <clears throat> wow, I really could just make money. But I never had like actually contemplated it. Jasmine, you can oh. be honest. I think I could make a lot of money doing it, but I would never do it. See, that gate is open for you guys, though. That door yeah. is there. For us, it would be, I mean, it's possible you, very... Tristan, you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... You guys but, account. But it's like... I mean, but I, it'd probably be... You got that whatever tag, right? Yeah. I, I, yeah, <laughs> slash, I <laughs> have, yeah, I have OnlyFans.com slash whatever, so I, I was... I contacted them for it, so I was thinking, what can I do with it? Kiki photos. Come on, Kiki photos. Put Kiki to work, bro. Pass her up. Yeah, I was going to do some stuff. Maybe we feature you guys with Kiki. Who's you guys? Yeah. You oh, fuck. The, <laughs> the boys. The bo- like, but honestly, I just... The boys and I don't know the if the, the money par- opportunity for, like, guys on OnlyFans is that big, though. If you're gay. Like, if you're... Yeah, you get gay. a gay audience, for sure. For but, like, sure, women yeah. really don't be buying OnlyFans. No. I mean, no. I, no, not really. I mean, there's probably, obviously, uh, some... Well, this brings up the question. Look, so, like, a lot of guys watch porn. 
Have you guys ever watched porn? What the? F- yeah. Okay. Well, you said so what the fuck, but a lot of a lot of girls say no. I have one. What about you? But it was like. It was actually pretty recently. It was like maybe a year ago, and my roommates were like, "Wait, you never have?" And then they like you see, it's they it. sat you down and like watched <laughs> it. With you. Yeah, they said it's Look an educational at this. moment no, they for did. this. Oh, and it was God. actually not what I expected. So, are uh, you guys? Jasmine, what about you? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. Okay. okay, that's actually really interesting. That like you've only watched it once. I, I'm assuming you guys not too many times. No, no. Yeah, but that's would, like that's I the thing. Say a lot, but like more than like a handful. Yeah, that's the. I mean, the audience. What kind of porn do you watch, Kylie? But it's some weird shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she oh, sir, with your answer, she's like, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Yes. What are you talking about? <clears throat> okay, I'll only answer if you answer because if I answer. Ooh, okay, midgets I'll, with sure, labias. Sure, I'll because answer. because <laughs> the, last labias. Time, the last time you said you were gonna answer the question, you were like, okay, let's move on. And you didn't oh, have what kind of it. porn? Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Easy. All right, you go first. Then. No, you go first. You go first. You go ladies first. first. <laughs> ladies first. Yeah, ladies Chivalry first. Isn't okay, dead. I would say. A little closer to the microphone. I would say that the most like frequent browse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, bro. Get it out. I would say lesbian porn. All right. Even Word. though Word. I am not bi, I am 100% straight. It's just they know what they're doing. They know what they doing. know what they're doing. Okay. All right, go ahead, Brian. Oh, There's a lot. Well, easy. Oh, easy. Yeah, let's hear it, Brian. Oh, did you want Tristan? You wanted mm. some more from Kylie? No, 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 no. It's pretty tame. No, dude, that's all. That was pretty straightforward. Yeah, Wait, tentacle hentai. <laughs> yeah, because the question the question kind of was, what weird porn are you watching? Oh, I'm not answering that. Because le- lesbian porn, that's not really weird. That's not. It's weird. not weird. It's just like it's pretty. Standard. I mean, to be honest, most porn is weird. There's a lot of, like, standards they put, like, on porn, like, that is, isn't real life. Like, like oh, some very sure. shitty well, I mean, scripts. The whole thing is just a performance. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, just that bro, you're in, the, you're in the washing machine? Oh, my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh God, what are you doing? <laughs> Before I answer, Luke. Why don't you tell us what kind of weird? Why the fuck are you throwing this on me? Wait, hold on, <laughs> wait. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you need to answer first. Okay, yeah, Come on. He's the lead up, yeah. Come on. All right. The anticipation. This so year. I'm gonna pull up Feisty's comment here. At, I mean, you guys already know what's coming, but <clears throat> hashtag all, right. all labia matter in the chat. Honestly, look, I'm a fan of large labia. <laughs> and uh, the bigger, the better. <laughs> Dude, you look a midget team porn. I'm you team Audi. You're for sure on that midgets. And yeah, I've, I have looked at some dwarf porn. <laughs> there's not much. Here's the crazy yeah, thing. I was, I would Here's the, there's not a lot of dwarf okay. porn. Like it's unfortunate and it's like all super shitty quality. Like it's not like it's that home movie dude, style. It's, it's that fucking camcorder. Dude, it's not 1080. Stop. Like dwarf porn is not 1080. It's like fucking poverty God. potato <laughs> camera status. <laughs> like Samsung. It's bullshit. really bad. It's like, all third world. Yeah. I thought there was going to be like a dedicated website for dwarf porn but it's all like <laughs> shit it's dog, dog shit oh my God. do any of you know a dwarf by the way like i'm kind of down to date oh, one no do any no. of you like Luke. a female dwarf no. wow. 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 i've told you before oh, yeah. what? what what are you talking about dwarfs <laughs> <laughs> damn what the fuck is this that whole mindset about oh, if, you're, if you're not six foot you're you're short you're short Wow, that's rude. short kings. <laughs> Everybody in the chat. Could you imagine kings. though if short wait, kings? So, wait, what? What did Kylie say? She said oh, that, she, she, she said was talking about dwarves. She said Luke. <laughs> out of pocket. <laughs> Hell out of pocket. Bro, we're fucking dogs. <laughs> wait, question, <laughs> question. Do you think it? Well, you guys are homies, so I feel like mm. you have that rapport, right? Are you homies? You're not really. Yeah. Homies. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Didn't you guys just meet each other like once? No, twice. <laughs> we all go to the same gym. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I was, I was about to like try to swap the genders on that one. Like, what if someone had said, oh, I, I like BBW <laughs> porn. And then the girl that left was still here. And then, am I being toxic? Am I, am I am I abusing? Toxic? No, keep going. No, keep going. No, I, keep no, going. Here. Let's hear it. No, let's spit no, it out. Well, okay, guys. So we had a girl <laughs> who was going to be on the show, and then I guess she didn't get the memo, but the show lasts longer than an hour, and there's an hour of setup before we go live. And so I was like, she's like, well, I can stay for 45 minutes. And I was like, let's just 
reschedule you for another time. And she left. She was, she was a big, a bigger, on the bigger side. She was also being thing. very like brash about it. And you were like trying to offer, you're like, oh, well, like, can you maybe stay until like nine or something? And she was like, no, I can't. Yeah. And she tried to like um, drug Eric before the show too. What? What? Yeah. It was like this weird like herb. She like tried to give Eric a herb or some shit. What, what was that shit, Eric? Did you take no, it, don't. Eric? <laughs> what? Eric, take it. Is that what was in the green bag? I smelled it. It Fucking was like YOLO, dude. It was some take weird it. like jasmine scented shit. I don't think it was drugs. I, sh- cor- correction, she was not trying to drug Eric, but she was like, really wanted Eric to have it, God. I think. Yeah, no. In any case, where, where am in I going? In any case. Anyways. Would it be, where am I going? And she was, she was Cur- robust. Curvier. Curvier. So would it be rude for us to have... Because, you know, she's making fun okay, of Okay, I know what, I know what you're trying to get. Yeah. She's trying... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, gotcha, let's gotcha, say gotcha. Let's say there was a girl that was, like, on the bigger side. Is that this is what you're trying to say? Yes. Since they have that standard for guys of being, you know, if you're not six foot, you're short. Like, oh. if we had the same standard about, like, I guess size-wise to the woman, would that be so. more insulted? I, I for sure, will be more, more insulting yeah. because, like... That's something you get canceled for, you know? Like, literally, if you the only say reason something. that I said that is because I know <coughs> Luke doesn't care. Like, literally, the first time we met... I've gotten over it. Li- the first yeah, time we sure. met, I was wearing, like, four-inch heels. So I was towering over him. And then I was wearing a bandana with my big-ass forehead. <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah, take off the bandana, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> first time we met, and I was like, oh, we're going to be dogs, oh, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to be fun. <laughs> oh, no, but can you agree, though? Like, even if you didn't know him, girls will use that height thing. Oh, you know, for sure. Without, but, like, guys can't do the same thing about size of a woman without getting, you know, critically, you know, canceled or, you know, insulted. I feel like, I feel like a lot of women are very soft when it comes to that. You know, yeah. like they're kind of they're kind of like snowflakes about it. Like they'll talk shit about a guy's height, and like how a guy looks, and then a second uh, that, they that, say that the guys about, let, like, oh, like you're a little bigger. They're like, yeah. are you kidding me? You're on the career, so the rude. bigger side. Yeah, no, they'll be like, well, why would you say that? Actually, we do have some videos related to that that we can react to. Oh, and actually, man. Kylie, funny, funnily <laughs> enough, I don't know if you recall Sabrina. Mm-hmm. There's like, and I clipped it. I put it on TikTok. <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. There's a clip. The she was fucking. Kid. She was kind of being like a little bratty the entire night, mm-hmm. and she said something like, "Well, as a former fat chick, or what did she say?" As no, a former, yeah, I remember. It was like, "Oh yeah, like, as a, as a former fat kid, and you go former." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, oh. it was it, no, it was oh, funny though oh. because she's There's very no like thin. she's really she's thin, thin. Wait, and so who? you said that like as a joke because obviously yeah, like, that was a, it was a joke, but she kind of got bent out of shape. Yeah. To oh be my fair, God, it was was, Sydney. It was Sydney. Was, no, it was uh, Sabrina. Sabrina. You said something like that to Sydney too, and the I panel think got quiet, but she yeah, took yeah. it well. She took it well. No, but uh, no, she, uh, Sabrina was like, she was kind of uh, being a little bratty. Yeah, because enti- after the entire night after that, she goes, "Oh, you're you're t- you're going like this. I need you to go like this." And I was like, "Sabrina, like I love you. It's just we're all bantering. It's you a soft I mean? spot for a woman, definitely. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. That's like." But for guys, if you call them short, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it's no problem. Guys, we'll you, take you guys it. Have been we'll handle down. it. Yeah. Your yeah. Yeah. You, you just got to you just got to learn so to take much. the punches. <laughs> yeah. And apparently like people were anyways, doesn't matter. Let, why don't we pull up a clip related to that? Eric, can you go to the uh, video? It's, uh, scroll all the way down to the uh, it's probably somewhere in the hidden folder. All right. I don't know. We have so many. Can you uh Increase the size on OBS so we can like see the full list and then just Once we pick the video, I'll have you scroll it all the way down Uh, It might be the height ones There's so many holy shit scroll all the way down Uh, Do that. I think it's TikTok height one Yeah, go ahead you can play it down to the knuckle. Back to checking, guys. We invite over from Hinge that say they're six <clears throat> foot. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, uh, pull up the next one. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, the the height too. Yeah, I've seen. This. Yeah, you were here, Tristan. I think when we played mm-hmm. this. Oh wait, there's another one. Oh, yeah, this is. is the one I saw. 
This is my skill. Yep. Oh. Any, anyways, Eric, you can uh, scoot it down again. Um, your reaction to the clips we just saw. They were funny. Oh, okay. Is that valid, though? Is it fair? Is it fair? Okay, so what you have is you have, you've got girls saying, putting a marker on the wall, if mm -hmm. a guy's not this height, I won't date him or whatever, hook up, whatever it is. And then the guy's response to that is, here, let me put a scale on the floor near my, the entrance to my bedroom, and if you weigh over X amount, <laughs> then we can't date or whatever. Okay, I think the guy one was a little petty, but... I mean, say he's like really anorexic. How is that petty though? How's that? It's literally like it's it's it's, it's him not saying like no. Like, like I'm almost 150 pounds, and I wouldn't consider myself big. Like you know, like that just it. It was more like it was the message of it. It's, it's not like he's like, like yeah, standard. I get it. It's I get the message, the but it's the intent. It was funny, but he's just being petty, is what I think. Well, yeah. what about the first one? Um, I mean, if you're tall and that's your standards, like you don't want a shorter guy than you, then okay. Okay, but what about but is that guy, not, how's that not? But what about guys that don't want to date women who? Okay, are, I'm I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just okay. Saying, like, so it's, okay. so they're both it's, they're fair. both, it's both their standards. But like the second but, one was kind of petty. But why is the? Like, but is the first one petty? Yeah, they're both petty. Okay, honestly, okay, yeah. Got it. Right, so it's fair. Kitty. I think they're funny too, but and like you're allowed to have your preferences. I'm allowed to have mine, but I don't think that the height preference is equivalent to the weight preference. Like I feel like guys also have height preferences toward girls, so they could bring that up, and that would be like an equivalent. Oh, like mm, if but, some, some okay, okay, but we're, we're talking about like something that like you, I guess, women really prioritize height with guys. Guys don't really care as much. We don't care. I feel like guys I've come care. across guys that are like, oh, you're too tall for me. But the, major the majority, though, the majority, Most if you look at the majority, girls, the majority are really true. paying attention to height. Guys, I'm not saying they pay attention to weight. They don't really care about how much you weigh. It's more like it, they're not looking at your weight. They're not like, how oh, look. how much you weigh. They mean like how you look, yeah. you know? So yeah, was, yeah, I think it's, a, it's your preference. You can do whatever you want. Guys don't really have a major, they don't care about height. Yeah. It's not a major preference for men. Like, I don't know about, like, I would date a woman taller than me. Yeah. I would date a woman significantly shorter than me. 4'11". Very significant. 4'10". <laughs> make, make it three feet. Make it three feet, Brian. If, if, the her, yo, if her height doesn't start with four, she ain't the one. Oh, God. <laughs> she ain't the one. But, no, but yeah, um, I think that's your preference. Kylie, you're getting a little too cozy there with Oh, Fifi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, she was sticking her knuckle in wow. her what mouth. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I was not. All right. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think they're both pretty petty, but yeah, just like Kylie said, I feel like it is your preference. So it's fair. Yeah. Which one's worse? Just say oh, it. <laughs> think, no, no, I already, we already know the answer. We know she's going to say the well, scale, well, let's, but... Let's, let's, well, let's have her... I feel like I have... The scale. I have an unpopular opinion, but the height, I feel like could be... Like, you guys don't have control over that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the weight Thank thing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank the you. The weight thing, like that is a touchy subject. Right like, I would be upset, but you can also do something about that. As yeah. soon it as really you were your yes. insecurity. Right. Okay. Yes. So. Base, base. Can we get a base in the chat? <laughs> Spam it. Um, that's base. No, I was literally going to come back at you with that. Be like, all right, but like, can we change our height? Eric, can you boost? I, can you just check, make sure the audio is at 80? Okay, it is. Um, okay, based. Kylie, what, what uh, do you no, think? I know. I was going to say that. Also, you guys really can't control that. Um, I personally don't care about weight because, like, I'm going to the gym. I'm not weighing myself. I'm, like, looking at how strong I am, you know, but I feel like a lot of girls aren't like that and they think about their weight. I think they're pretty much the equivalents. Like, they're both, as you guys were saying, they're both petty. It's just you guys can't control it and you can't control your weight. Yeah. But if you, well, go, out, if wait, you go out there. Wait, hold on. But you can control your weight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you said no. you can't. No, I, I said you can't. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misheard then. I misheard. Calorie okay, deficit. All right. But if you go out there and you <laughs> say, if you if you talk about that like publicly, you'll for you'll for sure get shit on. You'll you get know? Some, a lot of yeah. hate for that. One hundred percent. That's that is definitely a double standard. Like I feel like girls can talk so much shit about guys and be like, oh yeah, he's short, like whatever. But if a guy is like talking about that to a girl, they're probably gonna get offended. It really is a double standard. <laughs> Actually, we have another video we can react to related to this. Eric, if you can uh, expand it out and uh, pull up the video but once more for us. Eric, if, I don't know if you remember the one, the girl in the yellow dress. I forgot what the name was. It, it's probably in the hidden folder somewhere. I suspect towards the top. Um, 
Fat, f yeah, the fat phobic. <laughs> All right, go for it. Hey, bestie. <laughs> Can you just? Yeah. You're wrong. I think it's time for another adult pre-K lesson. What do you think? All right, turn your listening ears on. Zoop, catch a bubble in your mouth. <gasps> Good job. Okay, here's the thing. Having a preference is something like, I'm looking for a partner who likes kayaking or wakes up early in the morning or loves pizza. <laughs> But when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. Okay, that's not nice. That's not a preference. If you lump all fat people in one group together as though they are not very different individuals, that's fat phobic. Just like lumping all black people in one group and saying, I don't like black people is racist. And lumping all disabled people in one group and saying, I don't think people in wheelchairs are hot is ableist. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> What the f- Yo, Eric, send the asteroid. You, the, bruh. Bruh, ridiculous. Look, look, the thing is about Anyways, that whole okay. that whole thing, <sighs> they will add a phobic to fucking anything to protect their own, like, I don't know, I guess. Their ideals. Feel the, their ideals and also their self-esteem. So they'll put phobic so then you can get canceled so people are not as likely to, you know, call people out on that. You know, they'll be scared to even say, like, oh, I prefer smaller girls before being, like, canceled for saying for saying that you know luke and i were talking about this the other time we were joking and i was like luke are you fat phobic and he was like uh no and i'm like i am like i in, in my opinion people on the internet like that she claimed that like overweight people are marginalized and i'm like well race you can't change like your gender you can't well that's another fucking Talking, we're not gonna get into whatever. that. We're not, not gonna, gonna get, get into, into that, that right <laughs> now. Don't touch it. Don't touch that. But we're not gonna get into that. But like, you can change your weight if you're feeling marginalized and you don't like the way that you look, and people are shitting on you for that. Then you can change it. Like you're marginalizing yourself. Like you're finding an excuse to Facts. be unhealthy. Thanks. Another thing I think is for guys that are shorter. Like again, I had to deal with this. Is that it sucks. But you, you come to a point where it's just like, you gotta make the most out of it. So instead of focusing on like, oh damn it, you know, I'm not as tall as I'd like to be, or like, I'm not six foot, you can start building yourself and building up and building more confidence. Like, again, I honestly don't give a fuck about how tall I am now. There actually is one time where I do, and that is at any concert when I'm in like the pit, sucks. Because <laughs> I'm always down here, and I can't see the stage. I'll give you a I'm shoulder running. ride, bro. I'll yeah, give there you a shoulder ride. There we go. But that's pretty much it. Like, if I'm out and I'm talking to girls, I'm not going to be like, oh, she thinks I'm too short. Like, if she thinks I'm too short, bummer. You're lost, girl. Like, right. this sucks. Oh, well. Next one. Bring them in. Did you guys have a response to the video? We'll start over here, Jasmine. J Dog. Do you want to say J no, J-Dog, you go ahead. You go. <laughs> J-Dog. J-Dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree with Kylie, honestly. I don't, I mean, everyone has their preferences. She was saying, like, it's not a preference to, like, not like bigger people or whatever, but it is a preference, like, you know. It's not, I mean, it might not be, like, nice, but, yeah, it's still a preference. I agree. It definitely like <laughs> might not be nice, but sometimes you're not gonna always be nice. And I think she was doing a bit much. Yeah. Like she was being. She was if you use fat phobic, get your ass in the gym. <laughs> there you go. Yes, it's not that hard. <laughs> Fix your diet. Eat right. Don't be eating McDonald's all the fucking time. Fix yourself. Work on yourself and improve your self worth. Don't be Boy. complaining and trying to make people avoid the fact that you know you are not working on yourself and then you're just lazy bro you know what really annoys me online is when you see like super super obese people doing like an oh what i eat in a day and it's like salad and nothing and then in the comments they're like no it's not fair like this is just how i was born and i'm like okay i get it if you have a wider frame but you're not 400 pounds for no reason no it's not that hard to go walk around the block a few times, too. Okay, but this start is also somewhere. all, like, you guys, have you ever thought about because you guys are fit that you're looking at it a certain way? Like, you have to be considered, like, in some situations, <clears throat> it's not just easy to just... I'm 100% right. I'm 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 yes, I totally agree with that. And I actually, when I was younger, I was a really overweight kid. I weigh, 
I weighed 10 pounds more than I did in like seventh grade. I was, I was really obese. I weigh like 170 right now. I was 160, maybe 5'3 in seventh grade. So I was a fat kid and I started working out over and over and over again, ate just the gnarliest diet and cut down. And now I'm happy with myself. Can we, can we see like a track? Tries? Yeah. Just a little bit? <laughs> A little, do a little bicep Bro, you guys should start wearing tank tops to the show. <laughs> I thought about it tonight. Bro, you it's guys are hiding cold. the assets. It's too, too damn cold. cold. You're hiding. The, well, I got the heater on, so if you guys want to roll up the sleeves, you know, just... Oh, um, just oh wait. Hold on. Let's let's see her. do. Let's see the tries. <laughs> this tricep is better than this tricep. Well, sh show both, I guess. You got to be even. Or I think symmetrical. this side is better, honestly. <laughs> okay, like, wait, I, I don't want to do all that. Well, just show the... There you go. No, wait, wait, wait. That one's better than Okay. That. All right. <laughs> Boom. I'm dead. Should we do it do like a double bar? Brian, Brian, they want to see you roll up your sleeves, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brian. Kind of I I've been slack. <laughs> I'm not gonna we'll lie. put the link in the bio of Brian's OnlyFans. Yeah, tonight my OnlyFans, Kiki. guys, you can see all the flexing Backslash on whatever. the OnlyFans. Do up. So, okay. Um the, the one thing I would say about the whole weight thing is that y you made a good point. Like some people have some physical limitations in terms of what they can do activity wise. Some people have injuries. Some people are uh, not as able bodied as other people, mental but really the weight too. What's that? I said mental limitations as well. Mental what? Limitations oh, as well. Limitations. Sure. Sure. Uh, but I mean the weight thing really comes down to calories in calories out. So I'd say it's more a diet thing mm -hmm. than weight it's really diet yep. exercise helps a little bit but it's like if you're in a surplus yeah. you're not speeds the process it's the calorie deficit you just gotta it's really yeah, that simple you have to be in a calorie deficit so i feel like genetics can also play a big part in yeah, it too sure yeah some people yeah. have it a bit easier on the genetic front some people have faster metabolisms but ultimately it's uh calories in calories out anyways we're gonna move move away from that incredibly toxic <laughs> why did why did you have to bring it's that not up, toxic no, it's no, not I'm, toxic I'm, I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding um, something need to be said well speaking of toxic <laughs> what is something toxic that you're secretly turned on by could be a toxic behavior in a in a partner <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you're saying I don't know. that? I just, would be toxic. I was like, I was like, Kylie's gonna have some shit she's got oh, to say for, sure. for this one. About what about the couch thing? What the? the <laughs> do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry to throw you out there like no, that. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> come on. So, um, my family growing up, I do have a great relationship with my father. Surprisingly. Um, I'm waiting for the daddy issues. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I have neither daddy or mommy issues, just, you know, mental issues. Um, but, like, they never, like, yelled at me or got upset at me. But something... <laughs> she likes it vocal. I like, <laughs> I, like, I like it vocal, but, like, if someone gets, like, mad at me, like, not truly angry, like, pissed off, but if you're, like, mad and teasing me about it and you like slam me up against the wall like by my <laughs> neck or something i'll be like <laughs> 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 Brian, Brian. What? <laughs> wait what did, did i miss something oh yeah, yeah you, you missed the everything. entire story oh yeah oh, was, my God. oh yeah by the way i just i uh <clears throat> shout out to fresh and fit i saw that question on their stream yesterday and i was, I was like oh that's a really good question so shout out fresh and fit i saw them ask <clears throat> that one um Okay, what about you? What about you? Um. <laughs> Is there some, something toxic? No shame in that, by the way, Kylie. I'm just I'm oh, laughing I, because I'm, it's like no, many I girls know. will be like, yeah, like abuse. Something toxic, <laughs> that you, <laughs> something toxic that you are attracted to or turned on by? Um, I just, I hate toxic, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if you consider this toxic, but like, if I'm out somewhere, like, you kind of, like, blow up my phone and you're concerned about, like, me and what I'm doing, like, I don't know. To me, that just, like, shows that you, like, care a lot. I don't know. I don't know if that's considered toxic. But. Okay, so you want a guy that's checking in on you. Where are you at? Clingy. Clingy, actually. Yeah, clingy. Kind of, yeah. Who you like, with? Yeah, I, like, yeah, kind of get right. jealous a little bit, you know? Oh, so, okay, you like that. Okay. A little, yeah. Okay. Yeah, same. Not much toxic things, but a little bit of jealousy here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
What about you? All three. Oh, come on. Yeah. There's really? something else. Give us something no, else. No, I swear. Okay. Like, kind of a hothead and jealous and possessive and clingy. Yeah, possessive for sure. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like, if, if I'm like talking to a guy, like, be jealous. So, like, a guy that isn't in control of his emotions? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking about a guy that, like, gets angry easily and a guy that, like, keeps blowing you up because you okay. can't control his I'm jealousy. I'm not saying, like, a guy with anger issues. I'm saying someone who's, like, dominant and possessive. All right. Yeah. I wouldn't say, so rough, I wouldn't say anger issues. Yeah, I no. would just say that they're, like, genuinely mm-hmm. concerned about Come what on. you're doing. Oh, like, you know? It's right. like, you don't want to okay. date a guy that's, like, nonchalant about everything. It's like, what's the point? Right. You know? Yeah. All right. So you guys are all in relationships. Do you have, and I mean, you guys also go to UCSB, pretty notable party school. Do your boyfriends hit you up, ask them where you're at? When, do, you, like, do you guys party? Yes. Do you party? Go to bars, clubs? Yeah. Bars, yes, clubs, does. parties? Oh, Brian I needs don't that. party, but I like go to clubs and bars. I mean, that's kind of partying. Same, yeah. Yeah. That's technically party. I mean, it's, you're not, it's not like a house party, but... Yeah. Okay, so like, <clears throat> what's your guys' party going out schedule? Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Mm. How, like, oh. tell us your schedule. How frequently are you out at the bars, clubs, or parties? I probably go, like, realistically, maybe like twice a month, three times okay. a month. Three, four, yeah. five? Yeah, like every other week-ish. <laughs> okay, just one, one week, or sorry, one night. No, sometimes it could be two nights, but that's rare. Like, I'll go out to dinner and then go to the bar. But I don't really consider that partying. Callie be going out every night later. (laughs) No, I want want these two to answer also because I think I might be an alcoholic. If the average is two times a month. We'll go. Wait, so you said total in a month three times, would you say? Yeah. Okay, Kylie, you go ahead and then we'll get you two. No, I think they should go first. No, I think Please. I think you should go first. Go ahead. We need to hear the standard. Okay, how f- <laughs> how frequently do you go out? Uh, but like, but the difference is I've seen her in the club with her boyfriend. Like, she goes in with her, she goes with her boyfriend. I think. Yeah. Every time. Well, if I'm going downtown, then yeah. Okay, so partying occasionally Tuesdays, Wednesdays if we go to karaoke night, Thursdays for sure. Uh, Fridays, yes. Saturdays, yes. Sunday, if there's a danger. But is that every time with your boyfriend? Not every time. Ooh. Because, like, if I'm going to, like, a different frat party, like, with my, like, girlfriends, he's not getting in. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Damn. Trusting boyfriend. Does he check up on you like you like you want him to? Yeah. Does he, like, text you a lot? Yeah, oh, okay. he, he checks up on me. It's just he's also in a frat. So he's basically doing the same thing. Oh, like damn. he's in a frat, and if I don't go to like that, frat so you guys party, are just living the the trust life. Yeah, <laughs> like I could be jealous that he's. I'm like, oh, are you talking to like all these sorority girls when I'm not there? And yeah. like it kind of was like that in the beginning, and I was like, wow, like, he he's really just chatting up all these girls. But then I realized it's not fair for me to think that because I'm also going to these parties and I'm talking to like some of my guy friends. So it's just we're very we trust each other. I know Brian would never do that. So, <laughs> Brian would never Brian do that. Brian would never do that. Have a girl that goes out that much, even even if you go out sometimes with her, like. Why? Well, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever go out with a girl to a club or bar, or party. Why? It's not my not my thing. I don't really I don't really drink, and I think I I mean I I say this pretty much every time it comes up. I would rather masturbate with sandpaper yep. than go to a bar, club, or party. Wait, like period. Hmm? Like then go to a bar, club, or party. You'd rather I would rather inflict injury on my phallus than go to a bar, club, or party. That's how Jesus much I fine. dislike bars and clubs. Did you have Why? a okay, wait, experience? Wait, wait. I, you have PTSD. No, not really. Just it's not. It's it's super loud. Everyone's drunk. Some people depend on depending on where people are like smoking and shit. Um, so the like, drinks I, I, are expensive. Oh yeah. Like it's just yeah. the people are. I, don't know, it's just, I, don't I know, know what you mean because I go out when I, when I do go out like very rarely. You know, I'm I'm usually sober. So like being around all those drunk ass people stumbling, like sh- you know, pushing you. And without they're drunk, they're not. Mm-hmm. They're stumbling. They're not meaning to push you, but like it's it gets to a point where it's just annoying as hell. You know, you don't even want to be around that. 
I also feel like the going out scene is very catered to women. Like I feel like oh, yeah. we get free drinks and yep. like it's just Hey, I can get some free drinks on on Sunday at Wildcat. <laughs> On Sunday, <laughs> you got a wildcat on Sunday. <laughs> no, was, that's just it's it's Let rainbow me, night. I'll ask you guys on this one. So we're talking about bars and clubs and stuff. And by the way, actually before that, did you guys answer how frequently you guys go out? Uh, no, but pretty much the same as Jasmine. We usually go out together. But yeah, you guys are yeah. friends, right? Okay, yeah. so two, three times a month. Pretty much, yeah. Kitty, what about you? Now probably like once a month. But when I like first started college, it was definitely a lot more. Okay. Oh no. I, I started Wait, working. Kylie, how much was it again? How frequently? Oh, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, three, four, Saturday. Three to four just, times a week. That's it. That's a yikes. <laughs> it is a yikes for sure. That's a yikes. And it's hard. It's really frustrating because I'm like limiting my gains because I'm just drinking empty calories like all the time. Damn. Imagine what you could be doing on OnlyFans if you use that time <laughs> that you're going out being a degenerate. No, that's facts. And taking photos of your feet or whatever the fuck you do. <laughs> That's no, Think about right, it. Right, Think about right. it. Yeah. You can Thank be you. rich. Thank you for prioritizing you rich right now. my financial gain. Yeah, I'm looking out for you, Kylie. <laughs> yeah. Get it together. I think mine is so low also because I am in a long distance relationship. It's not, as much as people try to deny it, it's not easy to drink and then like not want to be with your person. Mm-hmm. So I just yeah. don't. Usually yeah. when I'm out, I'd, I'd rather just even be on the phone with him, yeah. honestly. <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, as much as people don't want to admit that they don't like, want to be like with people you. are like, oh, alcohol doesn't really do that to me. Like, da, 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 you mean da, like you mean like the want the affection out. of someone else? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, not no, just not, spe- well, like him specifically, okay, but he's so not him. here. So it's okay. Like, no, so yeah. I have like no qualms with that. That's the thing is, if I if I'm getting drunk, I don't care how blacked out I am. I'm not touching another dude. Oh no, I'm, I'm not either. But I want to like I want right. him. So no, exactly. Like Whenever I get single drinking me, I'm just like. <laughs> yeah you should get that checked out um, yeah, okay. no, I, I'll, wait I'll so for therapy. you guys if a girl's partying a lot going to bars clubs parties whatever it may be is that an issue for you in terms of potentially thinking about taking her seriously yes yeah if she's going out a lot for sure yeah I want to honestly for me like preference wise I like a girl that has like something something she wants to dedicate her time to than like go party every freaking weekend like rather staying and doing something i'm not saying she has to stay home and be miserable not doing anything watching netflix like if she has nothing to do fine like go hang out with your friends but if every if that's like a continuous thing hell no Mm -mm. luke i think for me it's because i like to go out i'll go out like twice a week maybe once a week and if like if they're going with me no problem with it because i know i'm going to be with them but if they're going alone then i'm a little more skeptical i'm like uh okay why don't you just go with me and it'll be way more fun because we can be together and yep. yeah know? yeah cuz yeah, you know yeah. cuz you know a guys going to be offering her drinks and you know what i've been in the position bro where my where you know i guess the complicated state my ex she would take drinks from other dudes is that what would, what do you guys think about that if you're dating a guy and they offer you a free drink. You'll be like, "Oh, no harm, no, no harm." He's just giving me a free drink. Um, Would you do that? This happened. I think the last time I saw you at Sharky's, actually, uh, my boyfriend wasn't there, and these two dudes like literally tag teamed me and my friend. Like they were like, "Okay, three, two, one, and like break," and both of them approached us. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had it planned out. Poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. Out. Poor choice of words. But they like had a schedule, and then one of them started talking to me, and one of them started chatting up my friend. And he's like, oh, if you can guess my astrological sign, like, I'll buy you a drink. And I was just like, I was like, okay. Because at that point, I didn't want him. And I was making that very clear. I was just, like, awkwardly standing there, like, not really engaging. But if he's offering to buy me a free drink, I'll share it with my boyfriend when he gets there. You know what I mean? Literally, he, right. he walks up, like, while I'm talking to this dude, and he just, like, grabbed me and kissed me. And the other dude left. So he's not insecure about that, like, at all. I think, um, Wait, Kitty, the, okay, the, okay. The, the, ch- okay. the chat was impressed. Her body. When you got yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <She got a, laughs> Once you got up, there. everyone was just yeah. spamming the chat. Uh, too funny. 
Um, okay, anyways. <laughs> accidental fit if check. If Mike Davis is here, it was here, Yeah, where's like, Mike Davis? Mike Davis would be... like, be, fit check. Mike Davis would be losing his Burr. fucking mind. Okay, anyways. Um, we've thoroughly yeah. embarrassed. Okay. Um, Re- really quick, by the Go way. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, God, Tag I'm team? So, I'm wow. so thirsty. I'm Eric, sorry. can I get some water really quick? Um, no, I was going to say... I was going to say, if I... If if some guy was trying to get my girlfriend a drink, I would say get it and then give it to me. No, just exactly. to be a big fuck you to the guy. Like that's, dude, that's come what on. I was gonna do. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Like I'm literally. She's. You're gonna hand her the drink. Imagine this. This dude. You walk up to this girl, and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna riz up. I'm gonna buy her a drink. All this shit. You buy her a nice expensive cocktail. She grabs it. Oh my god, thank you. And hands it to her boyfriend right to this side. And then he fucking slams it and is yeah and just claims it. I would, that's, yeah. What a legend. I'll By the fucking way, take that shit. We have a super chat here from Theo. Thank you for the $10 that's super chat. That's my boy. Luke, what's your favorite hard lemonade? This is an inside joke, but uh, you know it's that pinky okay. lemonade. That's what I figured. What up, Theo? <laughs> is that like a sex reference? No, no, no. It's pink lemonade? It's uh. Was a girl, it? was it that time of the month? And then no, oh my no, 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 no. no. Some, my, there's some lemonade nearby. There was a mix oof. up. No, this this kid thought this, this is my buddy Theo, and yeah. uh, we were at a party, and he we had one of those the one chip challenge. He ate the entire thing. We had no water, and some girl gave him some pink Whitney and told him it was pink lemonade, and he downed the entire fucking bottle. How and did he not realize that? Right. He no, because he was he was he was just like he just drank it so quick, his mouth was burning so much oh that, and it was pink Whitney, so you can't really taste the. Mm. Gnarly alcohol, I so used he, to love he fucking downs it. lining was probably no, like literally. diminished. So love you, Theo. Miss you, dude. All right. By the way, guys, get your soup chats in. We, uh, I will read answer soup chats ten dollars and up. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the support. All right. So, glug glug glug. Okay. So, glock glock. I want to open it up to you guys, and this might be a difficult question because you guys are, apparently are all in. <laughs> happy relationships uh sorry guys i didn't i actually oh weren't we we were gonna react to all of your instagrams i think mm-hmm. um eric what i'll have you do on the other tab is you'll pull up their instagrams and the way you can do that is just uh, pull up the the youtube video or whatever um you don't have to do it now but just while we're having this conversation you can start working on pulling up their instagrams uh so i'm gonna open it up to you guys is there something dating related that you want to get off your chest? And again, I know you guys have been in, are in relationships, but perhaps you can remember back in the day. She's one, she's one day in, so like. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day. So tell me, is there something dating related you want to get off your chest? Something that bothered you when you were kind of out there, single dating, a frustration, or maybe there's a situation you want some advice on, whatever you want, something that you want to get off your chest. <laughs> I'll go first. Okay, Katie. Oh, she's ready. She's, she's ready. She's the freshest ready. out. Yeah, she's got someone. One. I feel like men. Okay, I feel like men that I've experienced weren't transparent with what they wanted. I feel like a lot of times they try to tell you that, oh, I want more, I want this, I want that. But honestly, like, they just want to fuck. And I feel like you could just say that because you will find girls that just want to fuck as well. Maybe not as often as we would find it in men, but I feel like just be. Tr- Honest. One hundred percent. Yeah, something I've done in the past, like. But the thing is, regardless of what you say, sometimes up front, I, I was up. I was usually up front. I'm. I, it's been a while, but like, obviously. But um, I literally straight up would say like, I am not looking for a relationship. Like this, like, Respect. just be straight up from the point. I'm. I, I don't know, up a All right. Be straight up from the point and be like, yeah, I'm not looking for a relationship. No matter. The thing is, like, even if you say that and you guys end up doing something. Afterwards, sometimes the girls get hooked, and you're just like, "Yo, like I told you, like I didn't want anything," and the, and like this one specific girl is just like really pursuing it over. I'm like, "Yo, like I told you, <laughs> like yeah. it's strictly like not gonna be that," you know. And that's I'm fair. Not. Like you, you did your part. Yeah, exactly. You can't if you put that out there at first. You have no like. You don't have to feel guilty yeah. at all, like about leading her on, you know. So if you're up front, no guilt there. Well, so question for you, Tristan. So when you would tell women mm. that you're not looking for anything serious, yeah. how, how many times would you say that you did that? Four times. 
Okay, four times. Mm -hmm. One girl specifically said, oh, like, I'm looking for a relationship. And things ended up still going, you know, home run. Wait, a, you said, I'm not looking for anything yeah. serious. The girl said, I want a relationship. Yep. And you still smashed. Yep. <laughs> Was it a one and done, or did you see her for a little One and bit? done. Damn, Tristan. See? One and done. <laughs> Look at what they do, not at what they say. Yeah, no, the thing is my friend also had tried to get at this specific girl and she told him the same thing and then they never, you know, she, he was just like, oh, like, because he was upfront about it too. And apparently they never ended up doing anything for that specific reason because she wanted to be in a relationship. But I straight up said I didn't want to be in a relationship and I guess it was just like she, she didn't end up caring in the end, you know? So she's just lonely? She just doesn't like being single? Uh, well, I, I don't even know. I think she was, like, yeah, tired of being single. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not trying to be in a relationship. So, like, okay. it is what it is. Take it or leave it. What about some of the other girls? Did any – was there any girl that you said that to and then she's like, well, I don't want to pers proceed. I don't want to – Um, I guess she never really put herself in the, like, in the position to even, like – one of them didn't put the, themselves in the position to even, you know, go exactly, you know, do the deed. So they never really put themselves in that position. So like, I would say, and they'll be like, oh, and then they'll like kind of space out to like just, just being cool, like texting and stuff, but like not really doing anything. So yeah, there, someone like really put, like really set that like line down. They're like, yeah, just want a relationship. But like two girls, they just like, oh, okay. So like, don't be afraid to be straight up. I feel like a lot of guys can't can't be straight up. Why? Oh no. Why wouldn't they be what? able to be straight Con up? Controversial Brian opinion time. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm well, ready. I'm we can't, in. If if we're straight up, it's gonna probably preclude us from being able. Getting, okay, okay. So you mean like okay? I know I know what you mean. So like a lot of some guys use a tactic of leading on a girl so they so can they get in their pants, you know. Maybe several times until the point where, like, the girl finally starts asking, like, yo, like, trying to be something more, and the guy, like, just, like, nah. Then then that's when the girl usually ends up getting hurt, mad at the guy, and then cuts him off. So it's just, like, don't, I mean, you can, but most likely that girl will be pissed off with you and not talk to you. I mean, some guys don't give a shit, but it's kind of, like, fucked up. <laughs> it's kinda yeah, a lot of my friends uh, recently have been interested in frat guys that are, like, very just rude to them, and I'm, like... From the beginning, I'm warning them. I'm like, listen, I get it that my boyfriend's in a frat, but he is probably the least, like, fratty frat guy that I know. Like, but a bunch of these guys are in frats specifically so they can, like, fuck as many girls as possible. Just, like, get in a brotherhood and be like, yeah, like, let's fucking party. I'm like, they're not really looking for much. I feel like a it's lot a of frat. guys in Elvis. I was about to exactly. say, you're looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> you're, looking you're looking in the for a wrong relationship. place. You're, if you're that is a hot it. spot of leading on and just wanting to have sex one time and done. No, yeah. actually. Like, if you're looking for love in Isla Vista, you are looking in the wrong place, my friend. Like, genuinely. Oh, it's freaking IV. But then also I feel sometimes a woman will say that she's... A lot of women won't be upfront that they're looking for something casual or that they're or that they're open to something casual because then they'll think that the guy might judge them for it and honestly like, think like they're a hoe yeah the, the guy might judge it if she's just saying oh i'm looking for casual then that would preclude that could potentially preclude the option of their of maybe eventually being a long-term serious relationship honestly mo i feel like most adult serious relationships the way they start nowadays is you hook up with someone and you kind of just keep hooking up and and then that's when like at some point like then there's like after a certain amount of hookups then that question becomes you know all right are we gonna keep just hooking up and being that like friends with benefits or are we gonna go into a relationship right now like the hookup culture is huge yeah. so like most likely people are just hooking up and you shouldn't really expect to date them you know the hookup culture is huge right now like it's it's just like especially if you go out downtown you're going out to the club and you just hook up that night don't even expect a relationship like if, if a girl really gets mad about hooking up with a guy downtown and then being like oh you don't want a relationship it's like no look where you met him downtown yeah if you're like meeting someone partying or like if you guys are both drunk or you're like anything if you're just inebriated or intoxicated and you meet them they're probably not 
the best person to start a relationship with. And I'm saying this as someone who parties a lot. Like as, I don't know how my boyfriend is looking past all of my red flags, but I appreciate it. <laughs> what are your red flags? What are your red flags? Daddy issues? I have a father, okay? And he loves me very much, so. I don't know, I feel like I am very open and honest in relationships and communication for me is very important, which is, I think, a green flag, but I do go out, I do party, um, yeah, but he's I in a frat. Guy friends, but like, he's in a frat, yeah. so it's like fair. That's like the world that you guys are both playing in. Exactly. You know? It's just I get jealous pretty easily, even though even though I'm not insecure about myself. It's just in past relationships. Is he jealous? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are but, playing uh, in de- like yeah. sketchy waters. Both you guys, no, you're in a frat, no. you party, and then like both you guys are jealous. So it's no, like, no, no, no. It's not like <clears throat> jealous of. Like, oh, yeah, you could be talking to someone at this party. It's just, mm. like, jealous because you're not, like, you can't hang out with me right now. Like, let's hang out mm. later type of thing. You know what that I mean? That makes sense. Walking red flag. By the way, shout out to uh, Rolo Tomasi in the chat, author of The Rational Mail. You'll see him in the chat as The Rational Mail. Thank you for, there he is. Hookup culture only exists for guys that look like this. Exclude it. I don't know, maybe these two. These guys are chads over here. <laughs> chads. <laughs> these guys are fucking chads Wait, over what? here. Hookup culture is only for guys that look like this? What? What do you mean? There's plenty of guys. Well, he's saying like, that you guys are very good looking. Hmm. I think Clarify. Confidence, I confidence game. I think the whole thing is a fucking confidence game. It Honestly, really yeah. Right? Yo, if you got game, like, your kind game of, can pick. Of. Nah, your game it's for sure. Game. If you got game, yeah. you're not that good you looking. Yeah, you no, got the if you got the Riz, honestly, it don't matter how you look. To be honest, <laughs> that shit. Here, That's get, how the short kings got to do it. Short kings got to have a game. Let me get the soup chat while we have it. Uh, Benjamin Della Basic, uh, sorry if I mispronounced your last name there. Thank for the uh, Australian twenty dollars, man. Much appreciated. They hook up, then they say they wanted something more, but the guy used her, shifting the responsibilities away from themselves onto the guys. So. Yeah, thank you, man. True mm-hmm. word. Yeah. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Thoughts? Thoughts? I I know someone who's like a friend of mine who claims that she is using a guy for sex, um, like, but it's really not like that. This is a very specific situation, but like, I think they fucked twice, and she's like, oh, I am one hundred percent using him. Like, I, like it's nothing more than that. But she's like telling that to herself. Like, so she doesn't catch feelings for this guy because it's a frat dude. He doesn't want her. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. in his head, it's just they're fucking and that's it. And in her head, I feel like she caught feelings. So she's like, no, no, no. Like, he's not using me for sex. Like, it's not more. I'm using him. So I feel like girls will definitely sometimes lie to themselves about that. I don't know about that better. whole using word. Like, you can't use that use word unless, like, the guy really says he wants a relationship. Like, Unless you ask him, because girls have asked me straight up, like, before you even hook up, they have, t- they have asked, like, are you, well, like, what are you looking for? Like, straight up, you know? Like, they'll say, what are you looking for? Like, are you, because I'm looking for a relationship. And then if you keep going on, like, you try to make her think that you ha- like you do want a relationship, but you actually don't, and then you guys have sex, then you can use the used word. But if you don't, then, like, you can't use that used word. That's bullshit. Yeah. It's bullshit. Oh, this is a good question here from, uh, <clears throat> from Rollo. Let me get to it. I'll pull it up uh, once it shows up in uh, StreamYard. But Benjamin, once again, thank you for the uh, big Australian $20, man. By the way, on Tuesday, we had an Australian woman. She's 50. So if you want to see the craziness of her, she's your people. So uh, Australian. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So let me see if this Rolo chat has come in. Okay. So we'll ask this. Uh, the Rational Mail, what percentage of guys your age do you think are getting laid regularly? We'll start with the girls. Jasmine, go ahead. Like, including that they're in a relationship? <laughs> like, Only or they're single? single. No, single. I, yeah, I think it's single. just single that are hooking up right on the regular um, basis. Like, 50, 60? Maybe? I don't know. 60%, 50, 60%, okay. Laid regularly, I would say like 
37. 37. Uh, regularly. Okay. Point, yeah, yeah, yeah. specific Point number. Seven, five, <laughs> repeating. 37, sure. Okay, sure. Go ahead. I was going to say like 30% too. 30%. I would say like 40 to 50. Uh, I, don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Um, I would say regularly, probably like down in like 25% to 30 for yeah, sure. I, agree with that. I feel like most, I feel like a lot of guys like just regularly just don't even put the effort in. Well, like, when was the last time that you guys got laid? <laughs> Like for reference, because you guys yeah. are saying like well, hold ten on. to twenty percent. If, if I have the guys answer it, then you guys no, have not to answer November. it. No, not November. Well, they're in relationships. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Two as interesting. Yeah, no. It's not as it's yeah. not, yeah. not yeah. as interesting. But um, yeah, honestly, <laughs> Eric, while while we go around on that, I'm gonna have you go open up one of the folders in the. You're gonna go Dropbox podcast infographics, and I'm gonna have you uh, pull up. How many of you guys still going strong on No Nut November? <laughs> You, Brian? <coughs> I think Brian's got a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brian's still going strong. Oh, is that a thing? Do you know, no, no, do you know what that is? What? what? Have you not heard of this? No, I've heard of it. Okay, come uh, on, Brian. I, honestly, I'm not really masturbating. <laughs> so, okay. Um, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> no. the, the infographic, is it in the other window that you have it pulled up? Yeah. Um, but, but don't pull it up until we have it. Or everyone already answered. Yeah, it's right. called Men Less Sex. But Rolo Tomasi, why don't you also tell us what, what the percentage is? Um, Does he have an exact percentage? I don't think he has. He, I think he probably has question. it. Rolo, if you can write it in the chat, but I'll pull up this infographic. I think you've used it before. Um, Eric, it's called Men Less Sex in the info, infographics tab. I got it. All right, go ahead. Uh, if you can, no, that's fine. So young men driving the decline in sex, share of men and women between ages 18 and 30 report, reporting no sex in the past year. This is from 2018. I suspect Wait, this number has what? increased, certainly after the pandemic. So 28% of men in 2018 report, you, report having had no sex in the past year. So that's either virgins or no sex in the past year. 28% for men, 18% for women. I suspect that that number is probably around 33% uh, right now. Uh, it's definitely raised since oh, that's pretty spot on. Since the last one. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of, uh, I'm trying to think how Rolo framed it here, but your thoughts on this. What's Makes sense. What's going on here, guys? What do you think is going on? Why men aren't getting laid? Well, the, there's a... In 2018, there's a 10% difference between men and women. Mm -hmm. So how do you explain that? What do you, why do you think that is? Jasmine. It's pretty simple. Well, I mean, let, let, let her in. Let, go ahead. I don't know. I just feel like girls can get laid easier. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. There we go. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki. Pretty much. <laughs> Kylie. It's a lot easier for women I feel like oh you guys are but make, okay. why more in 2018 specifically what's that why do you think there's an increase to 2018 since, specifically since 2018? Yeah, since 2018 well I mean it's I think it's four, a pretty obvious one four years have passed there was the pandemic OnlyFans has come Kylie come so you, to speak you perpetrator <laughs> um, and uh, I mean it's just progressively you know even four years ago I mean there's more people engaging more heavily on social media you have TikTok, you which has which has uh even further damaged and eviscerated people's attention span um and van and increased vanity and so forth but uh what else i mean date dating by 2018 instagram and dating apps were on the forefront for sure but it's only more and more people that's how more and more people are meeting and then especially during the pandemic much more people were meeting online people yep. for people for the first time there's a huge influx on dating apps uh during the pandemic so it's all, it's even more normalized now than it was in 2018. wasn't well, it that guys are having less sex now than like than before like it's you, th you think it increased right it's been increasing What's been increasing? That guys, less guys are having sex. Yeah, it's it's more. So yeah. in 2018, what was the number? 28 percent. Now yeah. it's probably 30. I want to say it's over a third. I'm guessing it's because too many guys are like just 
jerking the bacon. Well, essentially, it's too many. It's just like, like why? Like slapping this along. Well, I, it, I don't think it's entirely due to masturbation. Uh, well, it's well, they're, I mean, like, they're too preoccupied small. with like, like social media. Is that like why? I don't really think it's men's fault so much. Well, like woman. Oh, okay. Women are more like I guess. Wait, why would it? Why would it not be men's fault? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Because of social media, because of dating apps, you essentially have. Oh man, I had, I had such a great video, but I didn't add it to OBS. <laughs> I can actually maybe get it going, but you basically have women who are chasing after the top 10% of men. Women, women's sexual strategy is to secure the best partner that they can get. Rolo, did I, did I get that right? Kind of, I mean, I've probably not in ca captured the entire picture, but women wanna secure the best partner they can get. So women are gonna be chasing after the highest quality guy. Well, you now have access to him because of social media, because of dating apps, and they've, Done, they've seen this playing out on the dating apps. Women are chasing after the top 10% of men on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, whatever the dating app may be, Instagram too. And women have access to these men now that they maybe previously didn't. It's also globalized too. So before you had your social circle and you had the people in your town. I mean, so pretty can, much, pretty much, girls aren't settling for less anymore. Their their they their standards have gone up higher because of social media, and it is now the woman's fault. woman's fault it's because women's fault. they're chasing <laughs> they're chasing after you know higher tier men. I guess you Brian, could say you realize that higher worth men, men can do this too. Men can slide into yeah, but like no, I feel like guys no, no, would no, freaking no, no. guys would put in a freaking glory hole. Like like they don't care. Like <laughs> girls like they see a guy with like high worth. You know they they like see a guy that's successful. It's, it's, I don't think it's women's fault. I think it's social media and technology. Okay, I like that. I, yeah, fault. I like that. I yeah. That. yeah, that makes sense. Um, I can attest. So, I mean, and people are getting introduced to it at such a young age. And you know what's actually interesting? These people that work for these tech companies, people that work for TikTok, that work for Facebook, that work for Instagram, they, they actually don't want their kids on these platforms. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, like, or they'll, they'll strictly limit the amount of time they spend on the internet. So, but the other thing is, is it's now globalized. So like I said, back in the day, you had your social circle and you had the people that were in your immediate area. If you're in Kansas, that's, that's who you have to pick, but you can be a hottie, a babe in fucking middle of nowhere, Kansas, and some dude in, and, but now you're posting Instagram photos, some dude in LA, some dude in Miami, he's going to be in your DMs, yeah. blue check that, mark. That NFL ties in, that ties into why like the hookup culture is so big now, because you can see the possibilities of all these people that are out there and how many, you know, how many beautiful women there are that like, I feel like guys are less often to get in relationships or I guess even women for that matter of fact, just because they can see all the options on social media, like, oh wow, there really is a lot of freaking like people out there so they're just not it's more hookup culture now it's not really like you're settling with someone in your town you know it's like whoa like look at all these people you know i, I can't attest this because i dated one of my exes because i saw him on tiktok he led like 900k on tiktok and i just slid in his dms and then we dated for nine months so did that give him credibility because he had a lot of a lot of followers it do you think that gave him like an up um it was just the fact that he was posting thirst traps but for some reason i was like I just slid and I was like, "Hey, you're cute." Like, not expecting anything. But it, but just, don't you think that follow that follow like count the, clout. the follow count? It's not even the clout. It's it's more like you can see they're a high, highly desired man. Because I feel like women chase after a guy who's mm -hmm. more desired. If a guy isn't really desired, it's like oh. But once you see that guy starting to get attention from other girls, be like oh, now I'm interested. You know, that's kind of like when you see all these guys in high school and they're just like you know like not right. not they don't really. Then no one's really chasing after him. Same thing with girls, you know. They they come out of high school, they have a glow up, they like improve their worth, you know. And then now all of a sudden you're you're getting desired by other people. So then that want to be with that person is a lot higher now. That's true. You know, so it's just like that that I guess that follower account gives you that credit that up, you know. It was it was like that in the beginning, and I was like, oh yeah, like he's really desired. A lot of girls want him. And then as we started dating, it was horrible so follower count would you guys i want to hear from you guys do you think like a guy with higher followers you'd be more inclined to desire him more than a guy that doesn't have many followers like millions of followers on hell no i mean his name would obviously stick out in my phone stick out a lot more right but i don't think like it would do anything for my okay. attraction towards him 
Yeah, I would agree with that too. Okay, so let's say you have two guys that are eights, right? Two guys that are eights, because you said hell no. But you said two guys are eights, right? Mm -hmm. They both look very similar. One guy has a very high follow count, and he's, let's say, an influencer. The other guy is just regular dude from your town, same looks. Who do you prefer? Genuinely, I think I prefer the guy from my town, just because I don't, like, with all those followers comes people in your business, and like, okay. I'd rather yep. not have that. It yeah. fucking sucks. But if, if he, he, both of them slide in your DMs, you see one guy that's verified or has a high follow count, which one are you going to open up first? You're going to click that verified yeah. one first. Yeah. Sure. yeah, for sure. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I also feel like like people with really high follow like followers, they get kind of big heads, you know? Like they're okay. not as humble. Like a little so more I full would, of themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I would definitely go with the one with the... In my experience, well, it's the here, opposite. Here's, here's the thing, though. So you, you guys might have a bunch of guys DMing you. You guys might have blue check marks, NFL players... NBA players, athletes, whatever it may be, verified on Instagram, sliding into, into your DMs. Even if you don't go with them, and also, I mean, if you compare men and women's Instagrams, like if you look at the comment section, y'all are gassing each other up like fucking <laughs> crazy. So the attention and validation you get, even if you don't end up dating, like we had a girl on here, she's a 19 years old, UCSB student. She, she had the game. Uh, in her DMs, yeah. 17 million followers on Instagram, super famous rapper. She's like, yeah, I got this NBA player, NFL. Like, we've had some other girls. To be fair, she was like, very attractive girl. But I mean, we've had other girls. You know, okay, you know, they're all right. They're they're all right. I Blue see. check marks in their DMs. Even if you don't get with that guy, you've received the attention and the validation, and you're going to look at the average guy and sort of like look at him with your head turned a little bit like you ain't shit like I got this you, you might not get with that guy but you're gonna sort of be weighing your options and comparing yeah I honestly I don't know your guys answered you guys did choose the guy in town but I just I yeah, feel I, I really do feel like it is the more honorable answer but like in reality like I feel like you guys would desire the guy that has more followers just because not the fact that there's more people that they're big headed. Like if you put that aside, they have the same kind of personality. They're getting more attention. They're more desired by other girls. I feel like you guys would be more inclined to talk to that guy. I mean, like I have blue checks in my DMs, but it's <coughs> like that's like I don't know. Yeah, but some of those me. blue checks tell me they're no, not going to be eights or nines or tens. They're going to be like I'm. I'm talking about like if it's a good looking guy. Yeah, I yeah. hear you. I don't. I just don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. All right. Well, I mean the the. Other way to look at this too is, I mean, you guys are 21, 22, so you're still fairly young. I'd say at this point in your life, and I think most peop young people's lives, people primarily are going to prioritize physical appearance, physical attractiveness. And fidelity. They're younger, you know, so I feel like even the, like you have like this whole variety of men that are older that desire younger girls and they're in this state like that you guys are younger, so you guys are going to be getting hit up right now probably more than ever. You know, and as a girl gets older, I feel like they stop getting as many DMs. They're still going to get DMs, but like mm -hmm. if you're younger, it's just how it is. More guys will be hitting you up as yeah. weird as it is. But you know, that conversation we've had many times, you know, yeah. the whole age thing. But to go back to my point, so you're probably prioritizing your the primary attraction trigger is going to be physical appearance, physical attraction, things like finance, money, status probably haven't played at this point in your life anyways, a big role. Can he provide, that's probably not a big concern, but you can, st you can still chase, you might not be chasing the top 10% of guys that in terms of finance and status, but you might be chasing the top 10% of guys in terms of looks and appearance. And personality. Sure, I mean, personality, having game, having charisma is definitely can be a benefit well, right now we're talking about like seeing guys on social media how are we supposed to know their personalities through exactly social media? Well, yeah. i would never date you all of you are in currently in relationships yeah. just curious how did do you guys meet your current partners <laughs> online no. or in person organically in person in person okay in person i grew up okay with him. Yeah. okay mm -hmm. got it fair enough fair <laughs> enough so um, you guys have never slid in like tiktok guys dms i, I just uh, told you i have many times no but how about you guys no <laughs> no i would All never right. like go chasing for a man 
Uh, you would never chase a man? Chase the guy? No, that's fine. If I found a guy attractive and, like, I thought, like, he had a cool personality, I would definitely, like, sign his yeah. DMs. I just... 100%. It's always the guy that... Mainly, mainly the guy has yeah. to make the move. You see a girl at a club, you know, they're not... Most likely, they're not going to be walking up to you. If you never make that move to go up to the girl, she... Most likely, she's not coming up to you, you know, unless you're, like, really attractive. She's going to walk true. up to you and, like, be like, hey. That's true. Also, On the topic of guys in your DMs, blue check marks in your DMs, how many DMs would you say that you get a day? on or a week on Instagram from guys that it's apparent to you that they are interested in you they're hitting you up well it depends like if I'm posting like when I if post, you have to average it out like a month how many times a month are, are guys hitting you up on Instagram every time I post but like how many different guys are hitting you up mm. hey beautiful <laughs> like what are you five doing? to ten a month Okay. No, like every time I post. No, but if if you had to add it, like <laughs> it's like usually math. the same men. Physics too. major, right? You, you're good, at, right? Physics math. Man. I'm a chem major. Math, bro. Okay, so the math is good. <laughs> so like what? Thirty a month, forty a month. How many guys are like DMing you? Times? Per month? Are you counting like the same men? Just. W I mean. Because <laughs> like it's usually the same men. And you just ignore them. Yeah. That's weird that they are that persistent. No, but, um, they be persistent. That's weird if, if it's a no answer. I mean, that's one and done, you know, but okay. Um, no, guys will keep sliding. No, no, for sure. I've seen it. I've seen, uh, yeah, but but okay. see, I've Just, seen girls requests and it's the same guy like sliding up on the same story. I'm in different stories every time, you know, hard yeah, eyes. I'm, I'm not talking like count just one guy, count one guy as one per month. How many would you say? With blue check marks or just like? Just, well, first, just regular total. Jasmine. Like, probably like 20. -ish. 20. 20 different guys per month. Okay. Yeah. Kitty? Different guys, I would probably say like 15. 15? Actually, yeah. I'm a. I'm, yeah. Maybe like different guys? Okay, maybe like 10. Okay. 10. My Instagram's private, so oh, okay. I don't. No. But I mean, when do you I still, do you when still I was, get DMs, even though it's private. Um, not just like spam emails. Okay. But when I was single, I would say maybe like ten. Okay. Uh, kind mine of. is around like sixty to seventy. Sixty to seventy DMs. It was, it's because month. of like the whole TikTok and like gaming thing, though. Like yeah. the fact that I'm a streamer. They're like, still oh, though. Yeah, yeah she's, you're not, she's not going to see this. I'm just going to Yeah, it. you're on social media. Yeah. Okay. Now, blue check marks. Have you ever gotten a blue check mark in your DMs? No. Come on. Stop the cap. Come on. No. Stop I the cap. I haven't. Like, people Never. that I know that have blue check marks, yeah, but they're not, like, super famous. Like they're not, guys, they're not NFL players or, like, rappers. Yeah, I'm just talking, you know? like, guys hitting you up. Yeah, Any, a few. No blue check marks. Or yeah, some? a few. Okay. But like, I wouldn't say they're famous. But they famous. But yeah, but, they have but a blue are check they, mark. What are they? Musicians? Are they athletes? Athletes. NFL? Like college athletes. Okay, college athletes. I didn't know that college athletes get blue checks, but okay. It just depends. I guess it depends. Yeah. What about you? Blue check? Any blue check marks in your DMs? Yeah. Let's hear it. What's What's the scoop? A lot of them are like college athletes. Um, there's been one NBA player. Um, An NBA, one NBA player. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty much. Any musicians? Players. Yeah, actually. I okay, see. but blue check marks. What about you? No. Any ever, <laughs> ever? No. Okay, Kylie. So yes, uh, mainly mainly Twitch streamers. Like, really? Like, like bigger Twitch streamers. Who can you just? No. <laughs> no. Hey, can you set up like a collab? We'll get them on the pod. Are you down? <laughs> No. Like finesse it, just no. be like, yeah, come to Santa Barbara and meet me, and then just and like, then and come like be on the podcast. Address. Oh my god, like come I'm, kidding, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't yeah, don't do that. I've had like a couple athletes, but mainly like famous Twitch streamers. Okay, all right. What about you guys? Any you've heard from me? It's blue no, nope, 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 nope. never, Nada. never, <laughs> never. So some of you were saying what like between 10 and 20 DMs. Well, for you, it was like 15. For you both, it was 15 DMs from regular guys a month. For Kylie, it was 60 or 70 DMs a month. Guys, regular girls, you guys get DM'd at all? Right now and then. 
once yeah. a year maybe once a year hell no a little more than uh, that. a little more maybe than that. like once a month two times a month oh, okay well you're on your fitness grind you know you're kind of like on the out it's like there. Got, got the pump that, that yeah he's cancer. he's got his thirst traps on there with this well like um, two every two weeks dude i've i've had two girls dm me my entire entire life see that's mm. the difference between men and women what the verified checks still no regular just regular that sounds like okay. a you problem. <laughs> okay, but what? the but okay, whatever Ryan is part no, of that's you. Just, that's just no, no, like my personal like interested in me. Oh, okay, okay, but they're okay. They're more interested in the YouTube channel instead of like you. No, like girls really aren't DMing like that. Really? Yeah. Even I've gone in two DMs, my entire, my entire life. Interesting. Yeah. See, that's that's the difference between men and women. It's totally fucking different. Y'all can get that many DMs in a day. So. Well, I guess it also has to do with like what you, what's, cause what are you posting? You know, like if you're posting, you know, funny content, the more there for entertainment. And then like, if you're posting a certain like a type, I guess like thirst traps all the time, then they'll hit you up a lot more. Time to get thirsty, Brian. <laughs> Time you to start get, the OnlyFans, bro. Start, start, start that OnlyFans. Like, hashtag yeah, I gotta, whatever. I gotta get on my you fitness You and Kiki, game. come on, come on. But uh, okay, so I don't know where I was going with all that, but uh, we had Benjamin Delabasic here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, everyone was blowing up the track about jerking the bacon. <laughs> jerking the bacon. Okay, that's a new one. I haven't heard that one. Thank you, Benjamin. Appreciate the support. Um, wasn't there something else we were going to try to pull up? Oh, yeah, we're going to pull up their Instagrams. Oh, Let's yes. do an Instagram <laughs> review. Eric, were you, able to, were you able to fans. do all those? Shut the fuck up. We're not <laughs> all right, uh, let's do Kylie's first. If, uh... Feet pace. All right. Up, no. yeah. um, okay, scroll down. By the way, guys, keep in mind, Kylie has a, a boyfriend, <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Let's see if we spot him on her Instagram. Go ahead, keep keep scrolling. Scroll down. Uh oh. Keep going. Uh -oh. <laughs> Scroll down. Oh, there's the booty. Okay. Here's is there a story the highlight of him? Keep keep going. It's a shape for me. This is a keep going. <laughs> keep going. What do you this mean? is my this is my streaming Instagram. All right, that's good. That's good. That's a cute Instagram. Yeah, that's your street. Is, is there yeah, another one? Really cute. No. The, oh, okay, okay. All right, no, fine, fine, fine. Isn't. All right, her let's Instagram let's look so at the next cute. one. Let's see the next one. Who we got? Is Nikki on private? No, I. Ooh, oh, here we go. Right. We got oh, Kitty. Oh my god. Well, to be fair, she just got with her guy again yeah. or whatever. He's but okay, this is this is Kitty's. By the way, um, sugar daddies, you know what to do. Ooh. Okay, um, kidding. They have boyfriends. Okay, scroll down. Keep going. That's okay. valid though, because she just like got this. back in the relationship, yeah. so it's like I guess that makes sense. Okay. My Instagram is so boring. <laughs> I just made it public for this. Oh wow. So oh. yeah. <laughs> All right, she played basketball. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. I am, a, no, I am a fan of this Instagram. There's no no boys on there though. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, next one. Oh, all right, we got Jasmine Ooh, here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, can we all go right. to that top? By the way, by the way, how long have you been seeing your boyfriend? Two years. Two and a half years, two, but he don't even post me. So. Two. Oh, he don't post. It's yeah, just like a revenge. It's like yeah. It's a revenge. No, thing. no, not a revenge thing. It's just you know. <laughs> okay. Why right. would I do it if he's not doing it? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Scroll down. All right. No, I. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, I don't see the boyfriend anywhere. What's going on, Jasmine? It's her Instagram. Are you? Is. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I mean. Wait, what? If this is your partner that you love, and you know, I mean. <laughs> Wait, so three of you guys are dating, have no pictures of their All boyfriend. Right, uh, One has a story highlight. Then we have to do. Though. We have to do Nikki's. All right. All right, we got Nikki's here. How long have you been dating your boy? Oh, oh, oh what? Hey. <laughs> He's in there quite a bit. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> We've been together for a year, a year and a half. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> we were wow. Like, we were like best friends. Round of before. applause. <laughs> Look at that. She actually posts, and she's on private. <laughs> wow. Okay, scroll down a bit more. Anyways, you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh, I like that Cruella costume. Yeah. No, that's cute. cute. Thank you. So one out of three. All right. Wow. What's going on, guys? Where's the boyfriend? <laughs> I already said what I had to say. So. <laughs> we just started dating. Kylie, uh, the OF. That's the streaming Instagram. Bad for business. <laughs> yeah, isn't that? I mean, I Bad I get it. Bad for business, but isn't the business like of you guys together? <laughs> the OnlyFans business. No. 
Oh, shit, I started drinking again. Oh. Damn. What? Um, That's you rough. can't... Is it... Sorry, guys, we're having a little technical oh, issues. Is it, is it still glitching on your end, Derek? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll keep it centered for now. Let me uh, go fix that, guys. Sorry, guys, we're having a slight technical difficulty. Give me just uh, 30 seconds to figure it out. We while, we, uh, while I do that, the previous question was, is there something dating-related that you want to get off your chest, if you guys remember that conversation? Kitty, I know you already went, right? You, you wanted to go immediately on that. Jasmine, do you have anything for us? Like what I don't like when I'm dating, when I'm trying to date someone? Yeah, like think back in the day when you were single and you're like, man, fuck these guys. Okay, if we're like actively talking, like you liking girls' pictures, like that's a big no-no. Yeah, mm. the social media shit, I would say. Mm. Liking girls' pictures. Oh. oh. Do you think there's a double standard in that with girls liking guys' pictures? Yeah, but I wouldn't be liking guys' pictures okay. either. There you like, go. Yeah. There you go. You know? That's that, those are my standards, and then. I wouldn't do it either. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what, what was the thing? <laughs> that she, she, would, she wouldn't like a guy to be liking other girls' pictures. You know, that's a big no-no for her. And we, we asked if the... How about... Can you guys all agree that you guys wouldn't be liking other guys' photos if you had that standard for a guy to not like girls' photos? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So not a double standard. I feel like a lot of girls have the opposite interpretation of that. There's a lot of double standard right now with girls saying, yeah, it's, it's fine for me to like guys' photos because I'm never mm. going to see them. It's also the type of photo. I mean, I yeah, feel like if you're, yeah, if you're like, I mean, I, I get it. Like, it's the type of photo, to be honest. I feel like girls are more likely to post like bikini pics, ass pics. So if like your boyfriend is liking those kind of pictures, it's like a little bit more sus than if it's just like one of your guy friends posting like, yeah. oh yeah, like I'm yeah. with my family. Hey Rolo, I see your uh, super chat here. Let me pull it up right now. Uh, the Rational Mail, thank you for the $10 super chat, man. Appreciate it. Instagram is funnel marketing for women. Check your email, Brian. Yeah, I just checked it. Is it the, uh, this is the Tinder Insights uh, thing. I've, I've seen this site before. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> me, me and Kylie are going to have to get next to each other. <laughs> hey, Rolo, do you think you could DM it, DM it to us on Instagram? It'll be a little easier for us to pull it up. It's at whatever on Instagram, and then that way I can have Eric uh, pull it up. We don't have – this is my personal email, so I, I don't have it on the computer. Uh, or Well, not my – it's my business email that's not on this computer. So if you can D- – thank you, Rolo. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll pull this up. Um, yeah, there's a subreddit too that actually we can also, it might be on the subreddit. Let me see. It's like Tinder data, reddit.com slash r slash Tinder, Tinder data. It might be the most upvoted one. That could be interesting. Um, okay, so we'll have Eric look for that. Um, wait, Tristan, before you leave, where are you going? No, Tri- he's Go doing the, oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, video. show us the, <laughs> wait, hold on. Honestly, dude, I don't even know what's wait, up with you guys in foreheads. Do it again? <laughs> Forehead reveal. There we go. Hell yeah. There you go, bro. He paid ten dollars. You're for welcome. That. You really <laughs> wanted to see my forehead. Yo, Tristan, my forehead for when you go when you go to the barber, what do you? Whoops, sorry guys. What do you uh, ask them to do? What? Like how do you the ins- barber? How do you instruct the barber to say just like put a mop? Uh, no, <laughs> I I tell him I put the I, I like show him some TikToks. I'm like, yo, I want this guy. No, I'm kidding. I literally just say like low three fade. Keep the top, trim it. Literally, I'm, I don't tell them anything specific, you know? And also, you know, it's the freaking growing, like, mullet. Like, why is mullet coming back? That should be what you guys should be that, focusing on. Yeah. Not not my hair, you know? I think the mullet, it's it's in. It's a good luck. Do any of your boyfriends have What are you guys' opinions mullets? on that? Do you guys, are you guys in for the mullet? I'm not I like curly hair. My boyfriend yeah. has curly hair. Yeah, no, mullets are not it, man. No. Not, a, not a big fan of the, like, Miles Teller, like, mustache or, like, the mullet. Nope. Eric, um, were you able to see the Instagram messages to see if we got the message from uh, Rolo? <laughs> a chrome <That> dome? Chrome <laughs> dome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. It, it might, hold on, let me look. Um, actually, I might be able to, you know what? Here, I might be able to do it myself. Well, what do you got? What are you trying to get? The uh, he sent us a, I'll, like a Tinder. 
Yeah, I, I think I can actually send it to myself. Hold on. One moment, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so, Eric, <laughs> if you on the other tab, if you pull up Instagram, um, I messaged it to myself. You should be able to pull up the image. Let me know whenever you have it, and uh, we'll do it. So, yeah, good times. Okay, so what about you? Something dating related you want to get off your chest back when you were single and you <laughs> hated men. So when I was single? Yes. Ooh, okay. I don't know. I kind of, it was kind of annoying when I was single because everyone kind of raved about the whole hookup culture. Everyone, like, the minute they found out I was single, they expected me to start hooking up with everyone. Like, you need to hoe it up, all this stuff. But, like. Hot girl. Hot girl summer. Yeah, hot girl summer. Yeah. And, yeah, like, fuck. you know, I'm all about, like, you know, like, I guess hyping, hyping your friends up and stuff. But I just, like, I think it's annoying how people expect you to do that the minute you're out of a relationship. Like, yeah. especially to venture out. It's like, what if you don't want to do that, you know? So, I don't know. So your issue was people wanting to hook up with you you weren't yeah. in it you weren't in it for the hookup culture yeah yeah, yeah. okay like, so you're against hookup culture i'm not against it it's just like for you for you personally for, yeah i know how i am and i just like okay why it. do you dislike for you hookup culture because i know i catch feelings and i don't like to just like give that up to just anyone okay so yeah it's just not for me Okay. Have you had an experience like that before where you hooked up with a guy, caught feelings, and then it just didn't work out and you're kind of let down? Um, no, actually. Oh, wow. I okay, was... so you've protect, you've guarded yourself. Yeah, I try okay. to protect my peace. Wow. Your, your peace? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, the, the audio is muted. Oh, hold on. I got to fix the audio now. Got to get that, got to get that bell. I got to fix. Actually, Eric, if we go back to window, I suspect it's going to be show us OBS. It's gonna sh put it on window. Yeah, put it back. Yeah, okay, I got technical issues, guys. Sorry, I gotta fix this. Um, Kylie, what about you? Something dating related? Um, I don't, I don't like being single because I don't like people thinking that I'm like a prize to be won, you know what I mean? Like having all of those people on like on my Twitch or like DM. What do you mean? Oh, like you're on the market? Yeah. Oh. Like I don't like people thinking me like, oh yeah. Look at me like I'm a piece of meat. Isn't it kinda ironic that you do OnlyFans only then? then? Oh one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I think that I think the OnlyFans is what would what would make guys more, you know, be inclined to slide in your DMs and be like, Oh, she's on the market, you know. Yeah. yeah, no, and I completely understand that. It's just I'm not gonna date anyone that's gonna spend like ten bucks, like that. You know what I mean? Like, um, if these guys, they definitely don't think that. They'll be like, oh, I have a shot. I spend a couple hundred, I'll get her attention. And I then mean, currently, I am. In fact, I have a sugar daddy, kind of. But how does your boyfriend feel about that? Oh, he's fine. He what bought the? me. Okay, okay, wait. What are the what are the requirements yeah. of this? Literally nothing. I have to talk to him. <clears throat> Okay. Like, that's uh, it. He doesn't expect anything of me. He's like, I'll fly you out. Like, we can go to vacations together. Oh, hell and no. And he got me a uh, Studio 3, like, Beats just recently. Okay. It's pretty nice. Okay. I mean, catch that bag, you know, but, like, once he starts offering to take you on trips, I'd be like, no. That's Dude, would your boyfriend be okay with be that? Like, can I bring my friend with me? He, I mean, he asked me if I had a boyfriend, and I asked my boyfriend, like, what should I tell him? And he goes, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Of course not. Like, keep getting a shit. Okay, no, but I'm talking about if he t he's offering to take you out on a trip, are I, you okay? I, I would he be I'd okay be with that? I would not be comfortable. No, with no, that. would he be okay oh. with that? He probably would tell me to like go, but I wouldn't. <sighs> I would yeah, not. That's, that's a no. That's a no. I right. wouldn't. Oof. He would tell you to go. Hell, mm -mm. I mean, he. That's the thing. Is this guy like this very specific sugar daddy? Like he's so sweet, like so nice, and. Like, I tell my boyfriend everything that he says and, like, what we talk about. Like, this man literally has a purple heart. Like, he was deployed in Afghanistan. Like, he has, like, a daughter. Like, he's great. So oh, nice. Didn't you say your boyfriend Mom, gets jealous? So? <laughs> yeah. None of that. Really? Oh, my. See, that's Damn. the thing, though. Like, how would he feel if he's got a daughter? So, he can. What, how would he feel if his daughter his was His daughter just... is older than I am. What? Okay. So, well, like, how would, that's how would he. That's weird. How would I'm he, sorry. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, like, how would he feel? Ugh. That's just, oh, God. Does he have a wife? Uh, no. 
Oh, no, 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 no. You say that like it's not fa- like guys no, it's like true. old it's men true. don't do that all the time, you know? Like no. have a sugar baby that like and they still have a wife that like isn't really pleasing like pleasing him, you know? Yeah, I I am actually really surprised that my boyfriend's fine with it, but it's because I've been super like open and honest. It's not like he has to be like, oh, who is this guy that's texting you? And then I'm like, oh, it's just my sugar daddy. Like, don't worry about it. It's, if a girl, if a girl hides yeah. that from me, like, if a girl hides that from me, I'm done. Like, that's it. Yeah. Like, but she's not really straight up with me. Like, oh, I have a sugar daddy and I find out. Oh, no. But that's, that's the not. thing. is like, it's benefiting both of us. Because, like, it's not like I'm, like, sending him news. It's not like I'm doing anything. I'm literally just, like, having conversations with this man. And he sends me, like, a new speaker or new headphones or like just straight up money so i can get my nails done would you be cool with that uh, that's a i mean that one. like that's if you're really not sending one. pictures it's kind of like i think yours is okay but that's walking a very fine it line is. it's it walking is. it's walking a very fine line because if if it goes one way or the other then it completely derails itself 100 percent. and you have to have complete trust in your partner in yeah. that scenario yeah yeah so i know brian you know i know brian wouldn't more than one. We're talking about sugar yeah, if, a, if your sugar girl daddy. is getting has a sugar daddy, but you, they, all they do is talk. They don't they don't send pictures. They just talk, and they're sending her like beats. You know, mm-hmm. would you be okay with that? I'm taking a percentage. <laughs> no. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Like, I'm all taking right. a cut. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised, Ryan. I'm surprised. But but for me, I'm probably. Is that going to be the mother of my children? Is that going to be my wife? No. But like for a girlfriend, I'm probably... It, if you get like free meals out of it? If I'm getting a cut, fine. Otherwise, this, otherwise, if, if we're in a monogamous relationship... But why are you even dating her then? No, it's not monogamous. Why, wait, why are you dating her then? What do you mean? If you're not looking for that girl to, to like go forward with that girl later on, why are you, why are you dating? Like dating? You're not dating for marriage, you're dating for... It's just like... It's for pocket her, pocket like, pussy? It's kind of like a waste yeah, of time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Midget, I mean... Midget pocket I feel like pussy. I feel like there is a good <laughs> percentage of people out there that are in a relationship, but they don't see it going really anywhere later on, but they just stay in it for the fun, you know? They're basically friends with benefits with the label. Because they're not really thinking about the future. They're just like, oh, it's just convenient right now. You know. I mean, you can. I mean, also, it's there's a few reasons why. But I mean, you can enjoy spending time with that person. You can have an emotional connection. I mean, obviously, the sex is a component. There, you're safe too. And I mean, if if all you want is just pussy, it's kind of a fucking hassle to get it from a new girl every week. If you can, if you're even so, at the level, so you can some do that. so some guys just Most like guys settle because they're like, oh, it's like it's convenient for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a great reason to. <laughs> Damn, does that make you? Does it's that really worry you guys? Out. Does that worry you guys at all? I but mean, like, it's Brian. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn! Shots bro. fired. No, but I mean, I I value uh, having an emotional connection with a girl, but, but. Uh, I'm I'm speaking on behalf of men, you know, yeah. Not all men. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the, for sure is guys out there that just stay like in a relationship because like they they don't really like it's comfortable. like it's convenient, it's you know. Convenient. And that's the thing is, if my boyfriend's doing that, like respect to him for getting free meals out of me. Like oh, he's one hell of a manipulator if that's true. No. I mean, but you can be in a committed relationship with someone without necessarily thinking this is the person I'm going to marry and have kids with. Right. Some people want like something. S- reliable steady they don't want to be out hooking up but they want someone but they're probably maybe it's, at a it's point a, in their life where they're not gonna i agree that's they're not like that's kind of how i feel about it honestly because i'm not like if if i find someone that i grow to like really fall in love with then i'm like i can see this going somewhere but i'm not really gonna jump into a relationship being like this is the one i'm marrying right I feel like I people know. go in with like really high expectations. Yeah. I know for a fact my roommate like doesn't have a boyfriend, pretty much like like no serious prospects right now, which isn't like a bad thing. It's like uh, but she tells me she's like Kylie, in the next year I want to get engaged cuz like my mom got engaged when she was my age and I was like this I was like I don't think that's feasible. Like genuinely. That bring okay, that brings up the question though, like how long do you stay in a relationship before you guys start thinking about that? You know, you're in it for like let's say a couple of years. So who's been in the longest relationship? Me. 
How many? How long? Four years. Four years. Okay, you guys like, have been together four years. So now you gotta ask yourself the question. All right, what's going forward? You know, four years. That's a lot of time to spend together. You know. Is that like why you well, guys broke up? Because you had like. Well, it was in high school, so it was like kind of a dumb relationship. But there definitely was a point. I think when I graduated, I knew for a fact that, that was not the person I was gonna be with. And after that, it just kind of. How long were you guys not together? So this, oh, this you is a like, different person. Oh, different person. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is a different person. All right. I dated someone all throughout high school. And okay, yeah, but high school relationships. No, that's what okay. I'm saying. It wasn't and, very and the serious, current one. I mean, like current. Oh, the current one. Current relationship. Who has the longest current relationship? Who? Me. You, right? Yeah. Okay, like, how long was it again? Like, almost two and a half years. I'm paying attention. Sorry, I just need to remind. <laughs> <laughs> Too many numbers. Two and a half years. All right. Yeah. So two and a half years. Is, that's also a good amount of time that you guys have that's been not together. Very long. Okay, but two and a half years. Like you, you dedicated two and a half years to this person, yeah. and then like. I mean that's a pretty good portion of your life though. Yeah. yeah. So right now, like mainly, I'm, I'm, sh I mean, are you? I have that. Has that thought come into your head? You know, the whole marriage question. No. No. Okay. So right really? now, it's the conveniency. It's the convenience. So what? What? This is a question that you guys sh all, should all have an opinion on. Um, how long are you in a relationship before you kind of end that conveniency thought? Like just that emotional, like oh, I'm, I'm in the relationship because like I have this emotional attachment to this person. When are you going to start thinking about, like, all right, like, maybe this is, like, someone I want to stay with, you know? Because I feel like a lot of people are in a relationship for, like, two years, and then they'll be like, I know this isn't the person, but it's convenient. I'm staying in it. So, how, how long? It's not really about the time for me. It's more so, like... Where am I in my point of life? Like, do I have enough money to be in a relationship like that? To be married to someone? To like start a family? Like, yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm saying like you looking down the road. You're like, I've committed two years to this person, right? Okay. Are you really gonna think it later? On? Like, are you really thinking about staying in it later on? Because technically, the person that you're with kind of does drive where you go in your life. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, if they don't have the goals, you know, the same drive that you do, they're they could also be like a weight on your on your shoulder, you know? Like, yeah, I definitely think there's a possibility that I could marry the person I'm with, but like I'm not thinking about it, you know? And you're also young, you know, yeah. we're all like 20. Really that's young. not, yeah. and then the, like you'll see in the chat like these young people, there's no hope for them. It's like, yeah, we're, we're young, like we're, we're keeping our options open. Like I feel like a lot of people jump the gun too much. I know girls are like, yeah, I'm looking for marriage. It's like, bro, you're 20. Like, what are you Literally. doing? Like, focus on yourself because that's all, all that energy and time you can be putting onto yourself and, like, you know, driving wherever you want to go in life. You're putting mm -hmm. it into someone else. So, also, like, sorry. that's how that time is worthy. Like, stay, it's like, do you really want to stay with this person or is it really just convenient? You know? So, mm -hmm. how, how long do you think, like, that thought should be brought up? Like, that convenient or? Personally, I feel like I would know about a year in. A year in? Yeah. Okay. Like, I feel like you know when it's going to last and when it's not. So you were you were with him for how long before you guys broke up? Like seven months. Oh, okay. So not quite the year. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Hit that halfway point. Yeah. Start yeah. starting the timeline over. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I feel like you guys have been there. I've been there where it's like, yeah, you know, like when I was dating someone in high school, I knew I wasn't going to marry her. Like, it's just like I stayed in it because it was convenient, you know? But so like, someone to go to the movies with? Hey, Tristan, yeah. you've, you've angered ch <laughs> chat. Who, I've angered Le the you've, chat. You've angered Le Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, what does he's, Leonardo DiCaprio have to say? He's what the mop heads say about chat chats. <laughs> By the way, can you like, par like push your hair to the side? I just want to see how it looks. To the side. Like middle. What do you want me to be, Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio? From like, what a comb over? Like the front. Oh, just push it. No. Push it to like. Dude, slight dude are you kidding me? You want me to like do Brian, the Brian? Brian, like like you. Wait, I gotta go. Yeah, push it to the side. This way? Either which whichever oh side feels God. most comfortable for what? you. Bro, I just would never do this hair. Like what the fuck? Dude, look look what at how this? handsome this guy is. Fuck no. No, all the way, all the way to the side. You gotta commit. Show yeah. us the forehead. Bro, my commit hair's too to curvy, the comb, bro. Over. What do you guys want me to do with my hair, bro? Like imagine this. I'd be like <laughs> I look like an absolute <laughs> idiot. No, it looks it looks good. No, Brian. Cause now it's like <laughs> it's getting it's getting long. I feel like are you due for a haircut? It's kind of yeah, it's blocking your eyes a little bit. Yeah, no, I can barely see. Yeah, it's <laughs> when I go to the gym, it like drips. Oh, it <laughs> drips. <laughs> yeah, bro. It drips. Wait, your hair or something else? Oh, oh bro, the pause, hair, the pause. hair. Pause. Well, because you've man. been single, so I don't know. Oh no, no. Kind of no I haven't, I haven't been active like that. No, <laughs> oh, okay. I've been just doing me. Uh, Juggerwood. Everyone's Instagrams are uh, in the description. Uh, okay, so 
shoddy bad. We have a question here from a frequent viewer. He's dying to know. Stifler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Go ahead, Jasmine. Like a 7.3, okay. 0.5. All right, humble, okay. I would say a seven as well. I would say an eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think um, six to seven. Oh. oh. Eight and a half. Not even. All you guys are above seven, above eight. <laughs> Okay, girl power. <laughs> uh, Tristan, eight and a half, probably an eight. Why do you? Why do you get? Do you guys think it's humble to like say a lower number? You like you'll seem to like like you're I don't know full of yourself if you say a higher number. No, I'm being dead ass. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I were to say ten, I'd be kind of putting up a front. Like yeah. no, yeah, I remember yeah. one I mean, time when I was on, yeah. all the girls were like, I'm a ten. Like yeah. I think of myself as I'm like. Uh, be yeah. fucking there's crazy. like real <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's like just a combination of realism like and like exactly. confidence you know like Wait, jasmine do you want to do like a sh like a, a right tri uh bicep this one? no your other other arm like a uh sorry bicep bicep Got that let's see the bye oh. I mean, you can't really what see the, the mic's kind of in the way oh, fuck. boom yeah. holy shit yeah. god damn yeah. okay i'll be in the gym luke is <laughs> <laughs> what i'm what nothing <laughs> all right uh shane m thank you for the ten dollar soup chat for the ladies on the panel since all of you are in relationships what is the minimum amount of money your significant other will have to make to marry him in the future it's a good question um Six figures. <laughs> Six figures. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot. I mean, no, actually, that's not a lot. Well, okay. What does your boyfriend? Okay, what does your boyfriend do right now? <clears throat> he's like trying to do acting right now. Acting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's wait. He's trying to do acting. <clears throat> yeah. So he's like doing Six music figures? videos and stuff. Doing wait music videos or something? Like he's in the music. Is he a dancer? Like he'll like like futures music video. Like he'll like be a extra and stuff like that. Okay. Like video music videos for famous people. How much is he making from that? I don't Pro even probably know. Not, not a lot. I was gonna yeah. say yeah. that's probably not a lot. Yeah. Because I I thought I that was something that I was wanting to do, and then I just was like, "There's no way." Yeah. It's such a it's, it's such a tiny market. Right. Exactly. Tiny market. Is he saturated. In, is he in school right now or? No, exactly. No, it's too cool. heavily saturated. There's yeah. way yeah, too much out there. I meant like the the amount of people that want to like become famous actors versus the number that actually become it like it's ridiculously like it's not proportional at all honestly i would i mean i would recommend to your is, do you think your boyfriends are watching right now um i don't know yeah i well, sent him the link oh nice <laughs> i told Yo, mine i told mine up? not to watch what, what's his name can we shout him out johnny jo johnny 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 yeah is he he's, he's fijian Johnny. he's what he's fijian that's how you oh, say his name johnny john oh johnny shit. i thought you were doing it with like an accent or <laughs> that's how you say it jo john jonah or John. You can a. call him John. <laughs> John. John. Yo, John, you're a fucking legend. Um, <laughs> shout out to John. Um, Wait, so you, so you, want a, you want a guy that makes six figures, but right now he's not making too much, right? So that I mean, I'm young. Like, he's young, too. I'm okay, not, but like, like later on for Eventually, the guy. when I'm married, yeah, the person I want to marry, yeah. Okay. Whether it's him or not, you know? So like, right right now, do you think, ambi like, if a guy has ambitions, but he's not making that much money, like, that's that's something that you would... Yeah. Okay, that's for something sure. you would prefer. Yeah. But what if a guy had a lot of money already, you know? He was already making six figures, but then there's the other guy that you really like that has ambitions. Who are you picking? The guy I like more. It doesn't really matter about the money. Like, his personality and, like, yeah, how he treats me. Because I feel like a lot of girls would, like, be like, oh, it's, like, I'm already sealing the deal with a guy that's making six digits already, yeah. you know? I mean, the advice I would give to your boyfriend is, I think, traditional media, like acting is kind of a not a dying industry but it's not quite what it was i mean i think he'd have a lot more success going into business for himself doing content creation for sure. and i mean maybe he's already doing that you haven't really told us but i i think acting is i mean hey chase your fuck go for it chase your dreams but i think he can make good money and have some degree of status doing just regular social media so i agree yeah. um and I mean, you're both young, so wait. So okay, the question, the initial question was though. Um, by the way, I saw your soup chat for the two dollars. Um, by the way, just a heads up, 
for reading Super Chats, it is $10 and up. Um, we have a membership tier, I believe it's tier four, actually it might be tier five, uh, where you can do a call in, uh, but you're gonna have to do a membership. So drop that tier five membership. Um, so you're, just a reminder, what, as far as what you guys study, chem, physics, physics? Psychology. psychology. Oh, psychology. Psych yeah. I'm psych also. Who said, I thought someone said physics. No. Bio psych? No, she accidentally said physics and then switched it back Okay, to so chem. chem, psych, psych. Psych. Psych, okay. So you want a guy who's making at least six figures, right? How much do you intend on, on making? Around six figures. Do you know what you're like, you have a sense of what you're gonna do? Yeah, I plan on going to vet school after I get my undergraduate. Med school? Vet school. Oh, vet school. Vet, okay, yeah. you want to be a veterinarian. veterinarian okay, yeah. very nice. Very cool. I've heard that being a vet is super stressful. Mm -hmm. Like, they're really stressed. Anyways, um, but yeah, they make decent money. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. Six figures, Chase honestly, your yeah, dream. Like, six <laughs> figures isn't that much like nowadays, to be honest. It's like not. Especially where we, the Santa Barbara, like, yeah, that's it's true. like you're not rich until you're making at least like high, high six figures. $2,000 you know? $2, for a shitty one bedroom, if you're lucky. Nah, yeah. It depends where you live, but California, no way. Yeah. Um, okay, what about you? How much would, what was the question? How much would you like your partner yeah. Yeah, to make? Ideally, at least six figures, I would say what? as well. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say like he has to make six figures, but like a steady, stable income. You okay. Know? Well, you know, what's like a number though? Like a, a a number that you you would look for. Um, Someone you want to be with, like Mary. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. You you won't be like criticized for no, saying no, a number. No, I know. Though. I just like I don't know. Maybe a, little, maybe a little less than six figures. A little less. Okay, so a little less than six figures. Um, genuinely, I don't care. As long as, like, he's doing what makes him happy and, like, I, he supports, like, what I'm doing in my career, I really, I don't care. So you marry someone that's not making, like, almost any, any money is what you're saying? Yeah, I don't really care. Like, we can struggle, but at least we're struggling together. <laughs> true. All right. Very true. All right. Yo, what's up, Jasmine? See you in the chat. Um, so, what was I gonna say? Totally forgot. Um, she's a homie from back in the day. So, okay. How much do you guys, you three think you'll be making? I have no clue. Like, I don't know. Step up the OnlyFans, Kylie. <laughs> yeah, Step so it up. sorry. Yeah, I've always been curious. Where do you think you'll go with psych? I'm pre-med, so okay. I wanna go to medical school. Okay. Um, well, I was originally a film major, so I want a minor in journalism. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I'm kind of just keeping my options open right yeah. now. So. Um, I only chose psych because I wanted to get into a STEM major because I was I was film and media before, mm -hmm. um, and that I wanted to do marine biology originally, but because I'm a third year now, like they don't let you switch into bio. Yeah. Hmm. So does a guy's certain job like become more desirable for you guys like firefighter compared to like someone that works like I guess a desk job I mean no mm. what do you think you're thinking about it come on what a job and then don't don't <laughs> cap either don't be like humble like oh no I, I would date any guy like if a guy has a certain job one job might be more desirable to one of you firefighter is cool so you would, but you it's would dangerous though. So okay, like, but like you would, you would, you would him, prefer the that. Though. That's the other thing with firefighters. You barely see them. They're yeah. always either. That's true. Like, I don't know if I'd be yeah. able to marry a firefighter. I don't. Yeah. Well, not okay, but like I'm saying, date. Like, there's two guys. One guy has this job, that a desk job. One guy's a firefighter. Fuck a desk job. If you're sitting in an <laughs> office doing a nine to five, I'm sorry, you are a boring person. I could not stand doing that. <laughs> or as Brian has gotten called, vanilla. V vanilla. Vanilla. I got called vanilla. Yeah, last, last Sydney year. called you. Vanilla. Oh, you were, were you in the chat? No, I just saw it. Oh, you saw that yeah, part? I saw that part. Wait, were you in the chat live or are you just no, watching just, it after? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, she called me vanilla. Wait, where did that come from? Oh, because we're talking, she was talking about boring guys that work oh. desk jobs. I'm not saying that's you. I'm, I'm saying they're vanilla as Brian's gone. Yeah, called. yeah. It's like, I understand. Yeah, we could talk about, we could talk job. about vanilla shit. Vanilla shit? <laughs> Not well, we kind of are. We're comparing right now, like jobs. I didn't hear from you yet. Yeah. About jobs. Yeah. 
Like who would I go? Yeah, for? who would you prefer? Would you prefer the firefighter or someone who works a desk job? Like, I'm uh, pretty, basically what I'm asking yeah, is yeah. like, does that job make someone more desirable? We're not talking how much money they're making yeah, the same yeah. amount of money. I don't think so. I yeah, I've never really thought about like when I, I feel think like of a someone, lot. Of, I don't. I don't think like. I feel like a lot of girls do prefer like what you're doing. You know, like if I oh, got yeah yeah. A lot of girls are like, oh, like guys, he's a firefighter. Like, yeah, I'm, but I. Prefer, I I don't think I would be like, oh my gosh, he's a firefighter. I have to marry him. You know, like that's not. That's really, not. Like, I'm saying like criteria. someone you're dating, like th- that's like someone that you're dating. Who would you prefer? A firefighter or someone who yeah. works the desk job? Probably the desk job because fire. What? Let's, what? Fire, what? Hold on. Fire Let's say that is scary. so backwards. I, I, I you're live telling, up north. There's if, fires everywhere. If you're so. telling your like girlfriends, hey, I'm talking to this new dude. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, what does he do? Yeah. Would you mm-hmm. rather say he's a firefighter or he works in Girl, an account? Girls' firm? approvals, <laughs> girl, your girlfriend's approvals are obviously something you want to go back and say, like, hey, he works. They're going to say, what does he do? You know? Mm-hmm. So, like, you saying he right. works a desk, a boring desk well, job. It's like, if you really like that person, like, why do you care what your girlfriend's saying? You know? yeah. Well, tell me your girls don't have an influence over what you guys do. Like, you guys aren't more inclined to tell them about your boyfriend. Like, if they work as a firefighter, you know, like, hey, guys, he's a firefighter. Because your girlfriend's opinion does matter. I mean, yeah, they matter, but it doesn't determine everything. Yeah, that's you know? true. For me, it's the ambition. Like, what, yeah, what job exactly. you're doing. Like, if you're working a desk job and you've stayed at that job and, like, not gotten a promotion for, like, what, five years or something, yeah. then that, like, tells me something about you. But if you're out and, like, being at, like, the firefighter, for example, like, you're being active, like, you're saving people. I mm-hmm. guess it's like that. So it gives you, you know, makes them more desirable, right? That's yeah. that's pretty much the question I'm asking. Sure. So you say yes. Yeah. You say it doesn't matter. To me, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then both of you guys agree with that. Yep. Yeah. You really, you really <laughs> thinking about it? Because yeah. I honestly, yeah. I think we you guys are capping because a lot of girls would prefer a guy that they can go back and brag about what he does. You know, like something, like that they're they're doing a job that you actually is you know, meaningful, I guess. Maybe, honestly, for me, I think it would be more not bragging to my friends, but to my family. To your family. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, just bragging rights, you know, like, hey, I have this man, he does this. So, yeah, you guys can all agree, right? But does it go, like, both ways? Like, if you're talking to your family about a girl? A girl? Well, yeah, but, like, there's girls, like... Not really. I feel like guys have a way higher pressures being the provider with, with and the, having with a good job. Like, with yeah, occupation. with the occupation, you know, being the provider also makes, I'm mean, not even talking about wage yet, you know, right. we're talking about what they do, being the provider and that man, like the girls can just be sit at home moms and that's okay. <laughs> that's true. Like if guys will get shit if they're sit at home dads, you know, and the girls, the provider, I feel like those guys are going to be looked down upon. Well, I no mean, matter. when it, when it comes to dating, you, you made a good point that Typically, women need their female friends to co-sign yeah. on the guy, whereas 100%. we will date fucking whoever. Like, we don't give a fuck what our friends. Yeah, think. I mean, like honestly, so, I mean, we don't. I mean, if I mean, if we're talking jobs wise. If you're dating like a girl that's gotten like a hundred bodies, that for sure is not what I want to go be like. Hey, yeah, guys, like she's been around the town, yeah. you know. You know what? You guys are just too nice. You guys are too nice. <laughs> <laughs> these three these three are yeah you've been nice. a little feisty tonight Kylie so okay we need to and have you guys I mean I just want to hear real opinions because I feel like there's a lot of things that is I don't know I guess softened by people that like you don't want to really say your opinion because some people might like you know not think of it as, as humble or like because you can totally say it's no, there's nothing wrong with literally giving your straight up opinion like hey yeah I prefer this guy no. Give us your hottest fucking take <laughs> when it comes to men and women and all the dynamics. <laughs> Brian, bro. Brian, yeah. I feel like Brian wants to share yeah, some hot you takes. Yeah. Your hot take. He goes, give us your hottest take so I can not get canceled for saying mine. <laughs> I mean, I've after last show, I've probably can get... Anyways, um, I'm trying to... You guys are too nice... This is this is what boyfriends do. They, to, it's the boyfriends. It's the, the boyfriends, boyfriends are in the boyfriends. chat watching. It's, it's like, the relationship because like when, you're, you're a lot more <laughs> censored to what you say when you're in a relationship, you know. And oh, yeah, and they're guys. happy. <laughs> like when girls are single and when guys are single too. And it's kind, you're going on fucking dates. You're getting curved. You're getting at least on the girl side. 
Um, dudes are fucking and chucking you, hitting and quitting, fucking playing with you and shit. And then on, on our side, we're getting fucking flaked on, dealing with bullshit. You know, you know how you guys will be a lot more angry at men if you're not when you're single. Yeah, Yeah. I I wouldn't say that I was ever like angry at men. I feel like a lot of women get into the mindset of like, oh, fuck all men. Like all men are dicks, which isn't (laughs) fair. (laughs) You know what I mean? I'm those women. I'm when I'm single, I'm definitely like niggas ain't shit all the time. (laughs) So I'm one of them. Word. Same. Wait. Okay. (laughs) Word. Let me let me ask you this. What are some complaints? that your single <laughs> girlfriends have <laughs> that you hear oh, commonly God. taking over fucking taking over hey thanks for 10 bucks jasmine complaints that you hear from your single female friends it's just like the wait hook-o- let me just read this super yeah, chat really quick go ahead mop head tristan with a canadian ten dollars i know this i think this is leonardo <laughs> nocaprio um, thanks for letting me host the pod, Brian. It's helping me get over Morgan, my little Momo. She's probably getting. Pu- oh my Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm running out. I'm of running Roy out juice. of Roy juice. That is 100. I need God compliment. right now. Where's Chase? Jesus Christ! Look at the profile picture. He committed to yeah, that, bro. He's committed. He, put, he photoshopped you. Can we do it? A- not gonna lie though. Not gonna lie though. Like that took a lot of time and effort. So yeah. like. Good My man's probably not doing much right now. A solid, it was worth the $10. A solid right 30 seconds on Photoshop. Uh, can you do one for Luke, too? Dude, I've been uh, wanting one. Someone yeah, please do one. Come on, one, bro. <laughs> give, give us a face so they can take a little what, screen what grab. What face should I do? Uh, look crazy. Crazy. Yeah, look like you're on uh, pills. or, or I don't know, uh, Just like, pretend like you're injected with that? Muchy. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh, is that the oh, Zoolander? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. The fucking Zoolander shit. All right. Okay, oh, go god, ahead. Oh god, dude. Wait, sorry. Okay. What was the question again? I forgot. So <laughs> have you heard what is a commonly heard okay. complaint from your single female friends when it comes to dating? Like they'll be fucking and then they'll be fucking other girls too. But I mean like it's kind of like what you expect? Yeah. So uh, they're, re- they're single for a reason. Yeah. Like, like they're hooking up with them. They're hooking up with them, and like, the guys also like hooking up with other girls. And like, the girl, my girlfriends get mad, but like, I mean, what they expect? Yeah. That's like the only complaint. Wait, so your said. girlfriends, they're single. They're hooking up, hooking up with the guy, and the guys, they're hooking up with a bunch of girls. Mm-hmm. What are the girls doing? Only sleeping with that one dude? Sometimes, yeah. I Some mean, if they sometimes. go, if they find out that, like, he's also fucking other girls and, like, she's going to start fucking other guys, too. Why, why lower yourself to, to the behavior of men? You sh- women should not emulate what men do. Hold yourselves to higher standards. <laughs> when we're fucking a whole bunch of people, stay loyal. That's my Why philosophy. would we do that? Because don't you don't you don't don't play the man's game. Don't play the man's game. Weren't you just arguing the fact that like what? men get laid less? Yeah. But you're saying that the, you guys get to play the field more. Is that because like on average? Well, the, you get laid the less? men that you sleep with, the men that most women sleep with, they're the ones that have such an abundance of options that they're gonna just sleep with whoever. Okay. Or that they have options, they're going to exercise those options. Right, but women shouldn't, because if their body no, count goes... No, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, okay, no, makes no. sense. Don't, don't run up your body count just to spite a dude. Well, That's no, no. Just to be like... Oh. I know girls that use the, the, the recycle method. What's that? What? What is in the order method? in order to not get their body count up, they'll keep they'll like hit up their old pe- their old guys, you know, the guys that they've already done seen, done things. <laughs> the with. recycle method. Yeah, no, I've heard it. Yeah, the recycling method, oh, just God. so they can't they don't get their body. <laughs> that's how much it matters to them, you know. Which is, I mean, it's like guys do look down upon like if a girl with a high body count, so they'll just use the recycle method. I've never heard of that. Honestly, yeah. I think that's fine, like. I, mean, it's like, I, I suppose it's, it's already been done. I, it's better than <laughs> it's going. It's, it's, done. it's, it's better than going around. Yeah, exactly. By new go around, dudes. Yeah, go around town, and every guy's like, "Oh, I've, I've been in that." You know, no. So that's better. It's better. Would you guys ever? Would you? Well, do you guys really care about body count? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah I do. Yeah. You do. Oh, you guys are too nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, guys. Right. <laughs> All right. um, okay, so you guys, ca- you guys think body count should matter? I think so because those are my standards. But like, if other people aren't worried about another person's body count, then like, teach them. Okay. Yeah. What's 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 the standard? Like, what's like your what, standard? Yeah. What do you think is a high body count mm-hmm. for a guy and a girl? Like high would be like twenty. Okay. That's a lot. For um, both? I mean, like, at this age, I think it's a lot, in my okay. opinion. But, like, 10 is fine. Ten, ten's, yeah. 10's fine. I don't but even it, know my man's both? body count. Is that both for ways? both? Yeah, but ten. I mean, yeah. Guys, is 10 too much for a girl at your age? At my age, yeah, I would say so. It's peaking. It's peaking. <laughs> it's, it's getting up there. It's hitting there. Yeah. It's getting up there. Okay, kid. Yeah, I think e. 10 is like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. People call me kid all the time. Okay. But 10, I think, is like a decent number. Okay. I would say 10, too. I would say like 15 is pushing it for both. Luke, what's your body count? <laughs> My body count is seven. Tristan? 20. I thought, hold on. <laughs> Tristan? <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. Stop the cap. That's 20. Stop I've, come been on. In, I've been in it's long up. relationships, man. It's up there, man. Come on. It's not up. Dude, All I've right. been in long relationships. I've been in a two-year, back-to-back two years. Wait, question. Has there been any since the breakup? No. No. But there, like, every time I did get single, though, there was a huge spike, obviously. Like, in the very short period, you know? Okay. But, like, I've been in relationships for a long time. Like, word, word. Kylie? Uh, I think it's 11. You think it's 11? Yeah, I... It's either think? 10 or, it's either 10 or 11. Think? Oh, okay. okay. Body count? Yeah. Two. Okay. I don't share. Jasmine? Uh, there's what? always Jasmine. one. There's Y'all always are not going to believe me, like, for real, but the guy I'm with right now, he's my first, so one. Yes! Whoa. That's awesome! Okay. Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. wait, really? You're f- that's your f- first. Yeah. How old are you again? Mm-hmm. I'm 22. 22. But, like, we started dating when I was 19. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Props to you. Yeah. Props Good to you. Job. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Definitely. So you've never. He's your no, first I've guy. Never, yeah, I've never done never anything. Never had like with, a hookup. No. Okay. Wow. You never like kissed a, other guys. Yeah. But like not. While like, with your boyfriend. No, busted, no, no. Busted. No. I'm no. Kidding. Okay. Like before, him. before, yeah. of course, of course. Damn. So only one experience of one guy. Mm-hmm. So it's like you don't really know like exactly like. If you're missing anything. Yeah. yeah have you ever like thought about that? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <Yes. laughs> don't. I, I respect yes. it. I respect. Do not. Do not, uh, what, fuck, what's the term? Uh, corrupt her <laughs> mind, yeah. Kylie, with your Sorry, degeneracy. With, with my, t- I mean, my two-digit f- body count. It's only fair. Like, Do you got to be realistic. Like, you're, you, those thoughts will run through your head, you know? No. Especially with the, with the low don't, body count. Don't corrupt her I'm mind. I'm not even trying to corrupt her because I, I give her props for it. But it's like, yeah, of course it's run through her head. Like, no. like no. It, no. all right. Maybe okay. not. We'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, just being a realist here. I love my man. That's Boom. why I'm with yeah, him. Yeah, that's, that's all that matters. Him, I wouldn't be with him. Good answer. There you go. Good answer. <laughs> okay. Um, let's react to it. Oh, man, you guys, this is why I needed, like, at least two girls that we were just... We tried. We tried getting Yeah, girls. guys, sorry. We had, like, three girls flake. It is what it is. We had one girl that would have been... Oh, man, she would have been... She would have been good, too, the girl that left. Yeah, guys, we had a girl who showed up. I, maybe she didn't get Wait, the memo. Why should, would she have been good? Was was there Bruh. some? Was she a little? Bro, she's like one of these mystic healing chicks. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh fucking! No. Let me open up your fucking heart chakra type <laughs> shit. <laughs> she would have been arguing the body count shit for sure. She'd been like, I don't know. She would have like thrown one of her little like flowers at you. Yeah, her <laughs> things that she tried to crystal. drug oh, Eric crystal with. Dark <laughs> crystal. Here's some quartz. But uh. All right, um, let's react to a video. Let's just do, I don't know, Tate? Should we do Tate? I need to, I want to at least get you guys a little. Is there, are you guys just too nice? Come on. Do you guys like Andrew Tate? 
I'm guessing that's no. obviously no. not. <laughs> uh, what can we debate? What can we debate? Okay, here we'll go around the table on this. Um, God. Uh, political orientation and would you identify as a feminist? Are you talking about politics now? Jasmine? <laughs> um, okay, I'm not going to comment on the politics. That's fine. My feminist? Yes. Like, I love women and I support women, but I wouldn't consider myself, like, a feminist because I don't, like, do enough for women to, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yes! But I love women, yeah, <laughs> and support women, all women, so. Okay. I could not have said it any better. Yeah. I Okay. <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, mainly because modern day feminism has basically changed entirely that it's not even really feminism what the anymore. Hell, man. I was expecting this panel is too nice. This is, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is too much of a neutral panel. <laughs> it's not like a, hell, a debate anymore. We're it's just a discussion. Too yeah, it's we're too not based. problematic. Like. It's too based of a panel. That's fine, though. To Kylie. Um, I, uh, I don't really consider myself a like textbook feminist as they said i'll support women it's just like it's gone so controversial like it's as i was saying before it's turned into like oh like kill it's like all where men. does it stop where exactly do, like, it just keeps going like to they the keep pushing like, it i'm like yeah like sure like equal wage whatever but that's only if you're doing the same work that men are doing but people are like oh it's like unfair kill all men like that's just not fair like good answer <laughs> wow well, the kill all men, I think, is definitely, like, the extreme. That's the thing. <laughs> I thought you were about to say. <laughs> she said that is so true. You know what? I agree with that thing. I thought you were about to say that. Okay. Uh, Tristan and Luke. Too based. Uh, I really don't care about politics, to be honest. Like, I'm super centered. Um, and you you voted for Kanye, didn't you? <laughs> in, no, I didn't vote for Kanye. I'm not an idiot. I <laughs> do is emotionally unstable. Um, and then the as goat. Well, Kanye's the oh. goat. I pretty much already already. I know about that my, one, but I already spoke my opinion on feminism. Like, I honestly think it's gone too far, and like, it's been taken advantage of. And honestly, it's it's too much to be honest. The whole feminism, feminism. Luke, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I'm, my politics are pretty neutral. I could go either way. I think the leftist takes it way too far. I think the right can go way too far as well. And um. What was it, feminist? Yeah, it's too much. No. Would you guys date a guy or be interested in a guy that's like super political? They're like, you know, like mm. super far right, super far left. No. No, no because really. I'm not like that. So. Well, neither. You guys are all based, I guess. <laughs> you guys are all like neutral, so yeah, I may say. Oh, oh. Fuck it. no. Who was it? Who fell? Who did we lose? Trillstein. We Trillstein. lost Trillstein. <laughs> well, he wasn't in the chat. Jesus, I fucking Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Davis, <laughs> oh, Mike Davis turning in, tuning in for a few, and man, this pack is a sleeping aid. Somebody twerk or do something. We got an OF girl <laughs> on site. Make shit happen. Mike Davis, man. Thank you, Mike Davis. Appreciate you, dude. Eric, can you pull up the what Burger do you King? See Kylie's OnlyFans. Can, like, no, prompt? shut up. <laughs> can you, is that what we're doing? Can we, can, can we, can we put the link in chat? Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> yo. Mike Oh my this god. This is uh this is Mike Davis. We found a photo of him at a Burger King establishment. Um so any of the ladies, if you're ever on the East Coast, he'll hook you up with a whopper, he'll get you some free food at Burger King, just hit him up. What a let fucking dog. Yeah, he's a fucking He'll legend. for sure ask for a fit check and a spin. Uh Mike Davis, if you drop a uh sixty nine dollar super chat, we can accommodate your fit chat request. Oh, Ooh, 69 dollars <laughs> 69 that's, nice. that's, that's the trigger that's the trigger okay um so what were we talking about before mike davis <laughs> um in? political feminism yeah. feminism how many genders are there <laughs> bro brian i i had one dude come what? up to me at the club about this podcast yeah and say uh, um and like would come up to me aggressive. I was talking to, to one of my friends and then um, he walked up to me. I was like, all right, who is this dude? He's like, well, you're the man on the podcast. And I was just like, yeah, like, yeah. Like I was, I was like, I didn't know that would be freaking recognized for me on whatever, you know? And then um, dude was like, do you, are you like sexualizing woman? Do you think that's men? And I'm like, what? 
<laughs> like we literally like this dude like i was literally getting pissed off because this dude was trying to press me about sexualizing women uh, what whatever that, that i don't even know i have mean? no clue i have no clue so was, um was he drunk though did he see no, no 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 this dude for sure i mean he was probably a little drunk yeah he was he was an idiot but like when, when was this I this was, was after the um podcast with the twins with the twins, twins. and um and chase oh. and chase that podcast that panel you were on that podcast yeah right? with the twins and then chase got pretty much and i was like that what was is that tame. even that was for even sexualizing that woman which is hilarious I've i don't know i've had tons of people come up to me and be like oh i've seen you on whatever like the podcast i'm like what what's so your you, only you, fans you've definitely made like <laughs> and people like know what this podcast is like i've seen so many people like talking locally about it. Like, yeah. yeah locally, locally like in yeah. here I've had like three gym bros come up to me and be like, dude, I saw you on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some people like it. Some people don't. Um, that's unfortunate that he was kind of being a dickhead. Sexualized. But, but you're, you've mean? like always conducted yourself very properly. I don't think, I mean. I've ne- honestly, I've never really been disrespectful. I've always voiced my opinion. I've never like, and I've always been I'm straightforward. I'm the toxic one. <laughs> yeah, you I'm gotta saying, yeah. I'm the one, me and Chase are the ones saying the fucking Yeah, I'm not, I'm not soft either shit. though. I'm not gonna like not go against someone's like opinions, but I'm also not disrespectful in the point. That's how the podcast and the panel should be. Yeah. But like, I don't even know. Dude was, was triggered for no reason. So was he like Press, pressing you or what? Oh, oh, for sure. I had to push him and no shit. I, no, oh, okay, I had to push so it got him. physical. No, I got because he Yo. got too close and he got too close. And I was, I said, don't touch me. So I shoved him, it, and that's where, when his friend came up to me and he like grabbed his friend. He's like, bro, let's go. Come on, get out of here, man. Wait, so hold on. What club was this? This was uh, backstage. Backstage. And then, um, buddy had to get kicked out because he kept coming back up to me, and I the told the, I told the dude, security guard, I'm like, dude, you might have to kick me out of here because I knew the security. I was like, you might have to kick me out of here. This dude walks up to me again. He's like, no, we we've, we've seen him, we've seen him. I'm like, dude is getting mad because I sexualized the woman. You've never whatever okay. whatever that you, even he's means. He's a feminist. That you, a feminist. feminist. You have never said anything even remotely uh, sexual that could be perceived <laughs> as like. No, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's, it has to do with whatever, it, whatever insecurities that dude has. Like it's that's, probably just, that's what it it's probably just to. guilt, guilt by association because he just sees you on the podcast and he's going to make assumptions and he sees me over here saying, you know, fucking don't mess with girls with high yeah. body counts. I don't even like, know like what all that was. shit. Right? Dude and was then, definitely fruity. So he pressed you. <laughs> That man was zesty yeah. as fuck. Was he? He was with his boys. Yeah, he was with his boys. Were you with your boys? Uh, no. Oh, you were. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> but wait, but his, I didn't care. Though. His boys. His boys kind of caught his ass. No, right? no. But once I pushed his friend, he got yeah, pissed too, and I was just like, "We'll yeah. get your boy." Like, dude's talking about sexualizing women. Get impressed right. about that. Trying to be. I mean, that's another reason. That's another reason I don't go to clubs because people be, uh, drunk and. Bro, I got. My reputation precedes me a little bit. I don't need some fucking dipshit white night guy at a fucking nightclub in Santa Barbara coming up fucking pressing me and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm a bust. Well, okay, I'm not going to say <laughs> what I would do. But um, anyways. Um, uh, okay, anyways. <laughs> moving on. Yo, but can we get some fucking W's in the chat for our fucking boy Tristan? He got pressed yeah. because he was on the Whatever Podcast. Guy, show yeah, him some fucking Yeah, make him love. mad, bro. Make him show mad. Show him some love. W's in the chat love for it. Tristan. I love um, it. Actually, can you also put um, the Pepe, Pepe, <laughs> me too. Pepe emoji with uh, the either the knife or the pistol? Okay, anyways, um, with the piece. So, okay, let's react to one video here. Or wait, wait, what were we talking about before that? We were politics. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, to I steered away from that. Yeah, yeah I'm not. Too, I'm not too much into politics to be honest. Yeah, I feel like same. people care about that shit too much. You know, they make it their entire personality. Yeah, no, it's like the, it's just too much. Too much uh, German in, Z- in Zunza wants Jasmine to smile. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give a give him a little wink? No. What? A wink. A wink. I he wants. I don't know how to wink, honestly. Just try. No. Give it. No, give it. Nah, I don't want to wink. Give it the old college try. For money, I'll wink. For m- <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Ky- <laughs> Kylie, what about you? Tip her. Kylie, little wink Why? for the oh chat. Little Little wink. Boom. That was cute. Oh, I, think I can't do that. Yeah, I, don't know how to I can't do that. 
Mine Easy. Would not really? Look Eric, can you pull it's up the like, video tab? We're gonna <laughs> react to a video. Man, it's like the doll eyes. Uh, scroll up to the very top. Where's Mike Davis? Mike Davis, you still here? Uh, let's do. He's high on his break. Uh, scroll down just a tad. Uh, hope it. Uh, I, do. I guess we could do. All right, well, I guess we could do, uh, let's do the Brian bad pickup lines one. It's scroll up, <laughs> up, 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 bad pickup lines. All right, actually, before you press play, I want you to watch this video deeply, pay deep attention to it, stare deeply into the monitor, and I want you to tell me if any of these lines would work f on you. Go ahead, Eric. I think you dropped something. Oh, your standards. Hi, I'm Brian. Oh my god. My uh, sister's in town tonight. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to have a threesome? No. <laughs> no? No. Is it because of the whole incest Bro. thing? Do you like daggers? <laughs> like knives. Daggers. Have you ever been with a premature ejaculator? <laughs> Brian. I'm Brooke. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, you guys feminists? Sure. <laughs> Bro, OG Brian. I would man. like to uh, smear green paint all over you <laughs> and spank you like a disobedient avocado, which you can prove has uh, low standards. What? <laughs> That's not true. Oh, I'm looking for a girlfriend and, uh, does the carpet match the curtains? Uh, it's hardwood floors. Oh. Oh. No. Because I'm rock hard right now. Okay. Savage. Bro, Dude, would you got to bring this back. That was, Jazz, that was golden. The funny part is, me and my friend did content like that downtown on a Friday or Saturday night, I don't remember. And I shit you not, like, girls were not happy. I mean, like, some there was this lesbian, like, couple of girls that came up, and we were just asking them questions. I forgot what it was. It was, like, it wasn't out-of-pocket shit, but it was funny stuff like that. And we they seriously, like, got tr triggered, and they're like, get the fuck away from us. Like, we're like, whoa. They're like, people were really, like, like not insecure, but, like, really, like, about getting filmed. They were getting super sensitive about it. Like, oh, we don't want to yeah. get filmed. Yeah, this is, like, that was from 2014, 2015. I yeah. feel like shit was a bit different. A lot different. Back then. 100%. People were, people were like, yeah. a bit more, like, laid back. I feel Dude, like. 2014 was the prank year. Oh, the year the of the pranks. Uh, Jasmine, so a guy steps to you, and he says, do you like daggers? <laughs> are you just going to jump his bones? You know, assuming you're, you don't have a boyfriend, are you just going to jump his bones? No. Okay, if a guy comes up to you and says any of the other stupid shit I said, <laughs> what about them? No, I would just laugh. No, no, bueno. What about you, kid? E. The avocado one is pretty I, funny. I was gonna say the avocado <laughs> one. Yeah, that would get that you. One. Okay, <laughs> Kylie. What about you? I thought that was really funny. Like, if if the guy saying that to me was able to like make me laugh and he was cute, then I would probably be like. Okay. okay. So what's some, what, what is kind of something that you, that so a guy could use at the club or downtown? You know, whatever they see you that like would get your interest. Something that would make you laugh would that be like on yeah. the top of yeah. the list? Mm -hmm. okay. The first one, the like lower your standards, and then the way you just like hide. What if it's like a che <laughs> what if it's like a cheesy like dad like joke that they come to you with like pickup line? If it's good, I'm like really corny myself. So mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Like, so if it's I a like good one, so it does work. Like those little corny like dad mm -hmm. yeah. pickup lines. All right. I uh, I used one that was pretty successful. Uh, no. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's hear that. Hear it, hear it. A girl's pick of line. Um, I said, what has 32 metal teeth and is holding back my next meal? Your zipper. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, it got, it got oh, on. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't really... I don't really ever hear my girls have pickup lines on deck. That know? was the that was the only that time that I've ever. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's good. pretty solid. That was, that was good. pretty impressive. Girl that comes up to you and <laughs> says that. What are you doing? Yeah. What, <laughs> what are you doing? Floored, no, bro. I'm floored. He's dropping the pants. Bro. I'm like, <laughs> Nikki, what's your best pickup line? Funniest, my best pickup line. Your funniest line? pickup line. What's what you got? Like someone said to me, yeah. or I've said. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That you've both. gone. Both. <laughs> I, I can't think of any pickup lines. Most likely that you've right, gone. Kylie, <laughs> do you have another one? 
Oh, for four guys, or that's just been used on me? No, that have been for used on you guys. I want to know the ones you've used. Yeah, that I want to know. That was, that was pretty much the only time I've ever used uh, set the bar really Most high. likely, we're not going to get many that they've used, but that they've been used on. Okay, what's a good? What's the best one that has been used on you? Mm, it was like, <laughs> so <laughs> this one's just corny, and I thought it was funny. It was like, um, are you a fish that swam into a wall? Because damn. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was so caught off guard and I was like, what? And it took me a minute. And I was like I, re I respected it, but I did not let that man give me a drink. <laughs> I laughed. I was like, that's funny. And then I walked away. Alright, uh, you guys got any good ones? No. I this one isn't like funny, but it was just very smooth and he did it like on the spot. But he was like, What's your name? And my full name is Kidest and it's pronounced or it means blessed. He's like, What does it mean? And I was like, Blessed. And he was like, well, I'm very blessed to meet you. And I was like, oh, that was smooth. And it was just like on the spot. Like he couldn't have thought of it before. So ah, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, that improvises. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, no, that's honestly it comes down to game. Like if a guy isn't that attractive, you got game. He can, he can for yeah. sure like get his foot in the door. Word. Word. <laughs> Tristan. I'm telling you, it's all about the confidence. It's all about 100%. the confidence. What's up? No, I'm, I'm agreeing. Uh, like, if a, if a guy who's shorter than me, it doesn't matter. If he comes up and is just, like, chatting me up with full confidence, I'll be like, okay. Guy walks up to you and he says, oh, like, you look gorgeous. Is that, are you guys, like, you guys hear that a lot, so that's obviously not going to be as appealing to you or it's not going to really interest you too much. I gorgeous a lot. I hear, oh, yeah, well, like, beautiful, hot. whatever, you know, whatever, like, word you end up hearing, you know. What do you mm -hmm. guys think about that? It's a compliment. It's yeah, nice. Yeah, no, but are you going to prefer that over a funny, like, no, no, I no you guys funny. want something that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of guys just walk in and be like, hey, beautiful. Like, what are you uh, doing? Yeah, that's yeah. kind of You got to be able creepy. to, like, hold a conversation. Exactly. You know I, what I mean? I actually have another question for you guys here. So, um, would you guys date, date, I know you guys have boyfriends, but let's say you're single. Would you date a guy who's a guild leader in World of Warcraft? What's yeah. That? Oh my God. Like, he's a guild leader. Like, but it's a, it's a top... A NA rating guild in World of Warcraft Classic. As a gamer, yes. Basically in like a classic. nerd gamer, would you? So like he would no. game twenty four seven. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, no. and but also, <laughs> but he's good at it. And the guild, it was like top. They were speed running right in World of Warcraft Classic. So, you know, maybe they're gonna get fresh servers soon. So that it's gonna be, you know, phase one, Anixia, Molten Core, and then phase two, Black and Wing Lair. I have no clue. What is he you're making money? About. And then, like, <laughs> then he might be a ranker too. Like, he's gonna go for rank fourteen. <laughs> Brian's, Brian's asking. Yeah, Brian. Brian's asking for a friend right now. He's no, like, oh yeah. Like, by the way, would you be interested in a guild leader in World of Warcraft? <laughs> he's, yeah, he, no, yeah, but he's like, throwing the fish, the fish line out. No, there right but now. he's like, he's also once like the phase comes out where it's like PVP ranking. Like, he's gonna go for high warlord grand marshal. So, he's going Brian's for rank fourteen. So that's like. <laughs> That's like a 14 hour a day commitment for like two months. Like the honor grind. Oh he's God, I didn't listen, if, that if he's like making money deep. off of it, sure. Like if he's a streamer, then yeah. But if he doesn't have a job and he's spending his entire day like at home doing that, then no. Yeah, like he's going to be in like Warsong Gulch pre maids. AV, Brian. like Alterac Valley. Brian. Oh my God. Brian. Being good at video games, like Stop. certain ones, is very attractive. Like yeah. for me, Apex Legends, like if they're an Apex Predator, boom. Oh. Like plus so many ranking points yeah and they also like they farm the world bosses so like he has so there's like farming world bosses and shit and then also um you know when aq40 comes out then there's like zf or sorry zg comes out and then like nax ramus nax what what uh what was it world of warcraft yeah world of warcraft what, what classic world of warcraft. like nax hero do you play what character? Well, I don't play it anymore, uh, but I used to. What's your main? Bro, I, 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 played, <laughs> I played a warrior and a rogue. I want to hear okay. Mike Davis's. Let's hear Mike Davis's super chat. I'll, I'll get to it. Yeah. Um, did Dude, we? Miss, that was a solid. Yo, did we rant. miss? Did we miss a super chat here? Oh, here we go. We got. Well, we got this one. Ben D. Thank you for the Australian t uh, ten dollars. Appreciate it, man. Our boy Tristan could take and take on old mate in a fight, even though he can't see him. I think that's because of your hair is blocking your eyes. You know, you can't see him. <laughs> yeah, someone said that my ears are a liability. <laughs> and then we've got Mike Davis. Honestly, it is, bro. Uh, thank you for the $10, man. Appreciate it. Listen, young heads, nowadays them females have <laughs> heard, heard it all, so you got to change it up and mess with their heads. 
call a girl handsome or ask them to buy you a drink. Disclaimer, avoid feminists. Hey, that's some game. I've definitely called chicks handsome before and I'll definitely, I'll, I'll ask a girl, where are you taking me on our first date? Boom. Oh, you know a compliment that I received recently that stuck with me because like guys can say, oh yeah, like you're so hot, like you're whatever, like you're so pretty. Overused. But, yeah, exactly. But the one that I got recently, it was from... Uh, one of my like boyfriend's frat brothers. Whoa. It, no, no, no. It wasn't Whoa, like weird. Hold on. Because they were talking and he goes, oh yeah, I feel like Kylie looks like she's strong enough to beat like any other bitch up if she gets too close to you. And I was like, what? like that is genuinely a compliment to me. Because like I see him in Fitness 19 all the time, like this frat brother. And so he like dab him up like, yo, what's up? Like, what are you hitting? Like, and <laughs> yeah, apparently he's been seeing me like put the work in and he's like, she looks like she could beat any other like random sorority bitch up if she tries talking to you. So that's great compliment for me. So pretty much a compliment that would work is something that actually takes some effort and paying attention to. Like <laughs> well, it's just something that's not overused. Yeah, I know. like beautiful, gorgeous, hot, like that's too much. But if you look, well, he actually deeper, paid attention. Yeah, no, I mean something that you actually put some effort into. Yeah, yeah but yeah, like yeah. although there's too many okay. overused like lines, like yeah. way too many overused that you can't be used. Like Mike Davis said, you got to switch it up. What were you going to say, Brian? Well, I was, I was going to go back to talking about rating Nax Ramis. Because, you know, like, clear... you. By the way, it's not like multiple raid days. Like, you clear it in one go. Like, speed run that shit in two hours. And like, talking about... Uh, is this mine? Okay, but here's the thing. Would you, would you date a guy, but, but on his mage, he's first in line for Atiesh, the legendary staff... And then Dude, World of Warcraft is this dead. Is like, World of Warcraft is dead. If it was Minecraft is. or Apex but then, or like Overwatch. Okay, okay, here, let me revise it. Let me revise it. He's uh he's first in line for Gressel. Oh my fucking god. He, hold on. <laughs> he's first in line for Gressel cuz he's the main tank of the guild. Like would you go for him or what? Not just for that. No. Okay, I'm fine. Whatever. <laughs> Brian's like, fine, all right. I'm like, I'll, I'll tell my friend. Guys, anyone in chat, do you guys know the uh, what what the best in slot uh, offhand sword is from? Dude, I I don't even from know. From Max, Brian, what gun do you main in Modern Warfare? I don't I don't play. I'm not playing. I haven't played video games in like three years. I quit. But <laughs> you had to take a, a tea break yeah. for video games. No, I yeah. yeah. That World of Warcraft evident, grind, dude. I was proper fucking addicted to World of Warcraft, like twelve hours a day. Oh. It was bad, but no, I haven't played any video games in two years, so I'm done. I'm done with video games. But um, it was like a nostalgia thing for me because I played when Classic came out. I played that shit when I was in, you know, in 2005. So, anyways, um, <laughs> gaming though, gaming, gaming can be cute. Like my boyfriend and I have played Hunger Games, like Minecraft Hunger Games yeah, together. Yeah, the goat. <clears throat> yeah, I like gamers. Gamers are cool, but like. Yeah. Excessive all the guys in the gamers? chat. Excessive, like, like living in your mom's God, basement I have a gamer. Chance. It's I not. Inside all day now. He said, yes. <laughs> all, all the incels on, the, on the, like, streaming Instagram now are going to be like, I have a chance. The f- <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did we get on to you that? You started with a world of Warcraft. You, you, you started with a video oh, game. Oh, shit. About war, Would you date a gamer? <laughs> what if he's a seven oh, level yeah, 4,000 okay, yeah. silver mage? I, I got my question. In your opinion, what do you think disqualifies a woman from being taken seriously by a guy? Jasmine. I, Jasmine. Um, I feel like in this day and age, body count. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on. I have something really quick related. Okay, go ahead. It's definitely body count. I feel like that's something that guys take into factor a lot. Okay, Nikki. <laughs> I say body count too. I'm trying to think of something else though. You are we? T- are we? Sorry. Are we talking like societally or like personally? No. Well, for, at, I, for most men, like okay. what? What is something that would disqualify a woman from being taken seriously? K okay. mm. dog. Um, if she's into astrology. <laughs> like I okay I yeah. I understand like if you're really into it but I've had a bunch of girls come up to me and be like what's your sign I'm like oh I'm a Leo and they go oh that makes so much sense I have a friend who's a Leo <laughs> okay how's your carbon footprint how's it <laughs> do you use plastic bags often do you drive a Prius 
Maybe not. I did actually. Um, <laughs> maybe not for like our age, but a little bit older infertility probably. But that's like. Yeah. Not right now. That's so sad. I know. Tristan, what do you think disqual- disqualifies a woman from being taken seriously? Um, body count does say a lot, but also like if you see how they act out, like if you're hanging out with them, you see how they act. Like I've I've seen girls like hop, like watched a girl hop from like guy to guy throughout a night, you know, and like be talking to each each one of them in a certain way that you can tell like oh this girl for sure like hits up a lot of guys like she's for sure going around you know, but body count it does it does speak volumes about a girl. Yeah, I think personally, like body count yes, but again personally I think. It's if they can hold it like a solid conversation, yeah. they're in. If they are like, fucking, oh my god, airheads. Hi. God. It's just like, I know that's what girls think is attractive. It is the ugliest thing imaginable when you are just the most airheaded person. Yeah. You're like, oh, wow. I know wow. a ton of girls who act like that around guys. Like around girlfriends, they're completely normal, like super chill. But around guys, that turns into. Oh my god! Like, ha ha ha! What are you talking about? Like, I don't. Oh, there was there was you this girl. What? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna front, Luke. I kind of like her. Like, if she's like stupid, <laughs> it's kind of it. fucking hot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if she's like dumb as bricks, there's something attractive about that. That all roots Why? down to how you like to be like the <laughs> ultimate like dominant man yeah. like in your relationship because that's what you like. So like. If a girl has like, I don't but, know, is really that, smart. Here's the, th- well, here's the thing. Like that level of stupidity also tends to come with like other, <laughs> other issues. But like for <laughs> some reason, issues you like a girl with issues. There's, for, I like no, no, those no. red flags. But yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know for some reason, when a chick is just like, dumb. I don't date them, but it's kind of <laughs> fucking hot. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! But like, okay, I like it's so you can put them on the podcast and then get some no, content no, 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 out of no. it. <laughs> no, but mo- actually, most of the women that I'm like, I've had relationships, I've dated, have actually been like very intelligent. Like they're in STEM and shit. Fucking. So it's just girls that you hook up with. Because me on the, I'm on the complete other side, bro. I need a girl that's smart and like. Yeah. No, I like. She's s- got I'm attracted her drive. to smart women too, but it happens to be the case for some reason. Like if a girl's just fucking stupid. What about like a crystal bitch? Stupid but nice. <laughs> If she's stupid and annoying, crystal it's bitch. no a crystal. No, bitch. yeah, like if a girl like you wake up after hooking up with a chick and there's like a quartz under your pillow. <laughs> Dude. Do you what? know who Anthony Jeselnik is? I, by the way, do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a comedian. He's a joke that goes, and I don't want to butcher this, but I'll try my best. <clears throat> I look for one thing in a girl: intelligence. And if she doesn't have that, she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like and he's uh, a fucking dark Brian. comic but no, like yeah he's funny yeah. he's, he's fucking funny. hilarious he has he has two specials on uh netflix go check him out you guys i think his first one's better but uh yeah he's got he's got a really fucking he's super dark super, super dark. dark humor oh my god talks about dropping babies all the time and shit it's what was the one with like the his naked brother or oh my god that one's fucking Anyways, my brother came like, to visit Oh, do you and know I, it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And I opened the door, and he was masturbating. And I said, get inside, or some weird shit like that. And then his brother took it as like a, why'd you make it a gay thing? Oh, God. I think you butchered it. I totally <laughs> I fucking <laughs> butchered it. I totally butchered it. It's a delivery, think, man. Yeah. I think you butchered it. I get it. Um, um, wait. Him. He's fucking awesome. So, okay, did you give yours, like, what disqualifies a woman? Oh, yeah. What disqualifies? Again, I just not being able to hold a conversation societally it is body count and if they like hoe around but personally it's a uh, like if there's no respect reciprocated or if they cannot hold a conversation that honestly might be the first thing that will set you off because usually you don't find out about the body count until later on yeah. you know if i meet a girl first thing i'm gonna notice is how dumb this girl is or how smart she is and honestly i'm on the opposite spectrum i could not date i could not date an airhead bro I really couldn't. I really have issues with like dating a girl that like doesn't have her own like drive or like independence to do things. Cause like I don't know, you're the comp- you don't you don't really like that too much. You're more well, like she's more dependent on you. I need a girl that has her own like drives and ambitions yes. because I really just cannot like. You got to be a stronger team that way. I don't. I would personally don't like dumb girls. So okay, of the girls I've had relationships with, like most of them have been very intelligent. You know, they did STEM in university. Um, 
a girl I was seeing most recently, like she's PhD student um, doing like uh, computer science, like very highly intelligent individual. But like, I, I'm not gonna cap, like if a girl is dumb as bricks, there's something fucking attractive about that. I don't know why. Is it a dominance thing, you think? Is it like, I, I think so. I, I think was going to so. say it has to be that. Dumb, I think it's a, dumb girls will become more dependent, therefore yeah. making you like the leader, you know? So, and they, they knowing they you from what you've <laughs> said, you really like to be like the, the guy that she has to lean on, you know? Like, to a degree. Yeah, I know, but that's what you've said before, yeah. you know? It also, like, she's becoming, she puts you on this high pedestal. That's the thing, because she's, she's really not that all that smart. Oh, my God, he's so smart. He knows his <laughs> multiplication tables. Yeah, like, you can be a lot more entertaining to a girl that's dumb with the simplest things, a lot less work, you know? That's true. A girl that's smart, you got to really fucking, like, you know, she's smarter than you. You really got to step up your you game. You got to know your shit. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind having a girlfriend that, like, is smarter than me. I wouldn't feel like, like the i guess not i wouldn't feel submissive to her because of I, that. I wouldn't mind that either yeah honestly it's if anything i'd prefer that it's it's the same way like how some women are attracted to men who are criminals like they the, might if that's they the might whole... see the attraction they, okay they that might, one dude they might logically that one mugshot guy. Uh, the mugshot guy i know yeah. i know you guys have friends or maybe you guys have been in that position <laughs> where like there's a girl that really likes the project guys the project yeah. guys are the guys that they... Oh, that, that I change. can fix him. Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah. can fix him guy. Like, that That stuff ends up being usually a toxic relationship, you know, because the girl really, like, goes out of her way. It's just, like, a bum dude that she's dating, but, like, she really wants to fix him. And that might even, like, drive back to their, like, previous, like, how their dad treated them, you know, it might yeah. be daddy issues, <laughs> you know. But, like, some girls do like... I know plenty of girls that have, like, that. I'm like, dude, how are you with that I guy? Know like... like right now who's like oh i like him because he's a dick to literally everyone else but he's nice to me and then yeah. she gets surprised when he treats it's, her like it's it's the same thing that with that project guy you know um that they can easily entertain them a lot more right they're not as smart they usually have a lot of issues you know that you can be that that fix for them you know yeah. so well also just the other thing with women who are st <laughs> stupid <laughs> there's a, there's a simplicity there. Highly intelligent people are more likely to have like mental health issues because you're burdened with these Elon Musk. like super <laughs> like super intelligent people typically have uh it's kind of like oh, I'm trying to there's Are you there's trying to like, just say ignorance is bliss? To a degree like okay. I don't know there's something like kind of nice about simple, you know? <laughs> just in I think I, think I it, know what you're saying. Simple. I think it goes back to the whole like looking from honestly looking for marriage thing. It's like you're looking for something like stable and just like sturdy. It's like it's going to say that because if you're with a one track mind girl, you're not going to go anywhere unless you're going to like drag her along. Dude, with you, to be completely honest, like that's that's also like a majority of why I would re leave a relationship. I'm not saying any details. It might be this relationship it might be a previous oh. one, but if shots a girl if a fired. girl that's not even shots okay, it's not even ahead. shots ahead, it's just ahead. saying like it's huge for me personally like if a girl doesn't have like any motive in her life and you really just become that that pedestal or that like something to lean on and if you notice that like she's becoming too dependent on you or she didn't have that motive to do her own thing in her life that's kind of like something that drives you away from it's being with that person <laughs> yeah yeah like honestly it's just like you got to take time away because a lot of people become dependent on relationships. When you're, you guys have been in long relationships, you, can, you can't tell me you guys haven't become more dependent on that, on your, you know, on the partner. Yeah. You know, you're in a relationship. So, like, if you have a partner that, like, leans on you and some, some way down the road it doesn't work out, that's honestly doing them harm because they haven't become independent themselves. They've been too dependent on you this whole time. You guys have been in a relationship for two years. They become, you guys are single now and they don't even know they're lost. Yeah. You know, they don't right. know where to go. Yeah. So, like personal growth and finding you know that time on your own like of where to go in your life is important super important that's why dumb girls it's like they spend they're like lenient on all these guys the guy will treat them like shit and they'll stay with them because they become way too dependent on them exactly what what's that word that starts with the knee that it starts with an e when people are constantly thinking about like death e oh. it oh. starts with an e i was thinking esoteric but it's like no. something similar it starts Not with familiar an e. with it 
Anybody in the chat? Someone. Word, a know. word that starts with E that it's like someone who's like really thinking about death frequently or the afterlife or some shit. I you can't. Know? Huh? Emo? 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 No. Oh, Tell existential. No. Yes. Yo, Zach. Dude, that's valid. Dude, e Come fits on. the category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's existential. Thank you. Um, thank you. Euphoria. 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 No, but so people, people who are highly intelligent are, they're more prone to like existentialism and like worrying about that sort of shit. So there's like a simplicity. It's almost lazy. It, no, it's it, it's exactly ignorance is bliss. The more it's, you know, the ignorance more ignorance is fear. bliss. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> a nice anyways, um, okay. So let's do one video and then we're gonna wrap up here. Uh, let's just do a tape video and then we'll wrap. Go ahead, Eric. You can uh, scroll all the way down there. Let's see. Which one should we uh, got? Forehead. Oh, please do forehead. Uh, I mean, <laughs> please uh, do forehead. forehead count. Do it for me. <laughs> Let's do the two sim the robot. Let's do robot, and then maybe we'll do forehead. Ro the landing after. strip. And also, do I worry if I am too submissive? Will he not respect me? Nah. No, no, respect? no, no, no. Get get rid of that. Get rid, get of, rid of that. Get rid of that. Stupid that shit. won't respect oh, wow. me. Crap. That's not real. Is that yeah. real? You, really? I, you know what? So many women say to me, "You're so Those Andrew. Genius. You know what? You're so rich, but you're smart, and you're actually very intelligent. And I know you'd get really bored of a like a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch." I wish to God you were a robot. <laughs> you better shut the fuck up. We talk about star signs? Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising, you idiot. I don't give a fuck. Give me a robot. All men want robots. That's all we want. Four wives, robots, inshallah. Put the, put the, put the burk on. What are you talking about? We don't care. Two coffees. That's, that's it. It's yeah. nice and easy. There's yeah. no such thing as too submissive. Why is she nodding? There's no such thing. Yeah. I'm she's never going to look at a beautiful woman who does wait, everything wait, wait, wait. She's I a say. Robot. You know what? You do too much of what I say. I want to go get some disagreeable bitch. <laughs> Jasmine, your reaction. Go. He's dumb as fuck. One. Um, so basically, he wants a mother. Like, is what it seems like. He wants someone to do everything for him. Mm. Like... No. That's not what I got from that. But. What'd you get from me? No, no, that's more like a loyal pet, kind of yeah. like what he wants. A mother takes care of you. A mother is someone that leads, sure you know. Sure. A loyal pet is something that not only like follows you around, does what you do, you know, kind of tells, you know, follows after what <laughs> you do. Orders. I'm not saying this is the way to go. I'm saying this oh, is yeah. what Andrew Tate's saying, you know. Yeah. I obviously think Andrew Tate's hilarious, and some of the things he says is the very goon. agreeable. A goon. He puts on a <laughs> he puts on a for sure a, a persona to get you know clout, obviously. But like, I truly think from what he was saying, like it's it's not something like yeah. I was saying. I wouldn't prefer that. I feel like if anything, Brian would perform more of that what? from what he was saying. And obviously, that comes down to like they're easier to impress. They they follow you around. You know, it's kind of like let's easier. let's let the girls. We'll, we'll have the guys give their take, but let's let the girls go first. Go ahead. I think Could it was ask. funny and that he like trolls, but I don't know. I, it's hard for me to believe that that's really how he feels. And like, I feel like if I were to ask the average man, they would disagree. Like, I, do you, do y'all think you just want robots? I don't think the average man. I think there is a lot of guys who like that. Like a more lot. than average. He said every every man. I don't want to agree with that, but I think a lot of men prefer. But above a, average, like more than average. Honestly, I might be split down the middle yeah. to be that's honest. Crazy. Well, maybe even a little more towards the like robot like. Really? Yeah, one hundred percent. Give me send the robot. Huh? Kiki's halfway there. Kiki, yeah. <laughs> She's halfway I there. I mean, there are guys that just wanna like settle down and there's guys that wanna go out there and do stuff. And I think if you have a partner, not a robot, you're gonna do stuff. But if you have a robot, you're pretty much just gonna fucking settle down. Hold on. Let's let yeah. Nikki go ahead. Yeah, I basically agree with what she said. I kinda find it hard to believe that it's like right down the middle, that's what guys want. What do you mean right down the middle? Like one guy like 50 50 that 50 50 like wants a robot and one that like actually wants like a real Oh, you think it's 50 it's split. I I don't I don't believe that for some reason. Don't believe what? She she thinks she thinks that the majority of men like a girl that's smarter and not just a not like a robot type of girl, you know. Yeah, cuz you literally <laughs> just like went on that whole Yeah, yeah, no tangent. I'm for sure not on the robots like no. on that yeah. side, but I know I I have a lot of guy friends. I know how they are, how they think, you know. And One out of three guys for, right here believe that. Yeah, and do they mostly go for robots? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um Kylie um, I feel like Andrew Tate, 
uh, is just exaggerating the point a bit. I'm thinking that guys don't want like a robot that's just gonna sit there and like not talk, but they don't want like an annoying bitch who talks too much. Like, yes, it's just. I understand his point of view of like you don't want someone that's like, oh my god, what's your astrological sign? Or like, let me let me show you my crystals or like feel your chakra, because. Like, even to me, that can get, like, annoying and overbearing. But at the same time, he doesn't just want, like, Kiki. No offense, my love. Um, but, like, you know, if a woman is intelligent and can put out and isn't annoying, I feel like that's what Andrew Tate would want. Mm, that's if he, not what if he, he says, wasn't, If he wasn't, like, putting on That's not what he says. Well, the thing is, Andrew Tate's different. Andrew Tate is talking about having four women as robots, right? That's his, right. Hot, that's his words. He is also a very high value man with a lot of wealth, you know. He is literally the most Googled man on in in the world, you know. So he obviously, like Dan Belzerian, has this has the like opportunity to have several women who like can just follow him around, you know. So mm-hmm. obviously he's not gonna care much about that. Like, I've heard Dan Belzerian talk about that. You see how many you guys know, how many girls he has around him. He says he has like waves of where he'll have he'll love this life of having a whole bunch of girls and not giving a shit of what like robots, right? But then he'll get tired of that. And I'm sure Andrew Tate goes through that waves too, where he'll get tired of that completely and date a girl even though he's not like exactly what he wants, just because he wants to get away with that. He wants to get away from that like all oh, robot girls. He wants a girl that's like smart, you know. What what is the opposite of uh, like a woman who's a hundred percent a robot? Like a just a fucking the opposite? super what like, would be the opposite? Like uh like intelligent and like, independent. Robots, like a robots are intelligent. Like a super okay, argument. But like the robot means like <laughs> robots, that follows robots you. are yeah. like programmable. So I like so, yeah. no, but like it'd be a, in, someone super argumentative. In, yeah, in this case I would say like someone that's really like argumentative has like too many opinions and like forces them onto you. Let's go around the table on this. What would you everyone prefer? A robot or a super fucking argumentative person why do you have to say argumentative though chat you can respond to robot or just fucking insane argumentative it's not even insane though the point is like guy if a girl's more intelligent she's more likely to freaking you know resist your thoughts you know what your opinions she's more likely to you know argue with you if that's what you want to say argumentative not necessarily i mean a girl could be highly intelligent but also still be super feminine and submissive yeah yeah yeah, that you're right. You're right. But also, she if you have a very controversial view, she's not going to just sit there like a robot and be like, okay, See, yeah, no, it's fine. Look at that. You know? Usually, like, not yeah. all what guys are doing that. Literally, everyone is saying robot. <laughs> no, 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 but the thing is, robot. also, this has what? to do with robot. age. We're in a very young age group. I have a lot of young friends. My older friends, for sure, they don't want a dumbass girl. They don't want a girl that's a robot. They want a girl that they can also lean on, you know? As you get older, that, that, that mentality changes. So I totally agree with the chat that as you get older, that changes, you know? Are you? Us being young, uh, young as we are, all of my guy friends, they want a girl that's not that intelligent. Jasmine, did you just make a robot noise? Yeah, Bebop. Can can you wait? Can you oh, the <laughs> can you do it again? The robot noise. Why though? We didn't hear it. We didn't. We didn't. Beep boop. Okay. <laughs> Rock and roll. So, um, there's the robot thing. Let's do one more video and then we're gonna wrap. Hell no, I don't want a girl lead. Let's do, we, Kylie requested the forehead count video, so we'll do the uh, forehead count video. It'll speak to me. I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, what? because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you know what, there's like a lot And women would be like, <laughs> to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't we, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. That attitude is disgusting. Okay. I would um, have a lot of writing space. <laughs> so it's a right my body count. <laughs> I was waiting I'd have for a that lot, I would have a lot of uh, free real estate right here. Oh my god. That billboard number? Jesus. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Jump god. scare. <laughs> um your Jasmine, your response to the video. I mean, if he's saying girls should have their body count on their forehead, then men should have their body count on their forehead. Mm-hmm. Like we should all know each other's body count then. Yeah, if it's such a big deal and it would solve so many problems, why can't why can't we both do it? 
I don't agree. That I it think would what solve he meant. Problems, and I don't see why it's necessary. I think the only yeah. reason he focused on girls having on their heads because they're more likely to hide it. Yeah. Bruh, please. Oh, I've heard no. of guys hide their Maybe body hiding counts. Their body counts. Hell no. They I'm lying. Lying. They multi- I mean, count. they like multiply that shit. They lie about like how many. Yeah, but to, a, to, their to guys, a woman, but, like, yeah. to a woman, they'll lie about it. Oh, uh, like lower body count. Uh, they'll lower yeah. it or make it higher. I've always, it depends. I've always been straight up. Yeah. Then why are you guys mm-hmm. getting yeah. with people who are lying about this shit? Like, just get someone who's honest. Because we're talking about like dating them. It's like, why would you date someone who's gonna either increase it or decrease it? Like, just be fucking honest. Yeah, you know. Dude, this man has asked for my feet at least like 30 I've times. Seen this today. Man. No, he <laughs> is the biggest demon in the chat every time. Give us yeah, he's a menace. Give us a menace. Give us a Going back, going back to the video though, I honestly think that's that's another one of his like acts of for somebody to get an action from the internet because mm-hmm. I think that's total bullshit. How is that supposed to ha- solve anything? <laughs> yeah. What the hell is that gonna solve? To be honest, I, I mean like he's funny, trust me, but like that, I think that's just for attention for sure 100 <laughs> percent. that's how you became the most googled man right there <laughs> no yeah it's trolling. but okay if if someone had their body count on their forehead they would probably be more selective with who they sleep with yeah i they think would, that he values body yeah. count so much that's why he says it will solve all problems you know it girls would, will be a lot more careful with how many bodies they have. Yeah, they would not rack up bodies. Mm-hmm. I think Tate's the perfect example of an extreme control freak. Yeah. Right? Like, he wants robotic <laughs> women. He wants a lot of them. And, I don't, yeah, he just, he's a control freak in that sense. He needs to know everything. Okay. I can, I, like, I don't think it solves anything. However, I do think he is addressing the problem that girls won't hoe around as much if 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 it's shown like hey i hoe around mm-hmm. right like that's that's Word. what he's that's what he's saying yeah with that point yeah i mean if it's if it's on your forehead and if girls know that i feel like guys value that then yeah probably they wouldn't right. sleep around as much probably people would value long-term relationships more the nuclear family would would return 100 percent and guys two parent care, households guys wouldn't care as much Guys would not care as much. Two parent household society, you know, you can, there's a ripple effect. But, anyways, okay. Um, I want to, if anyone wants, final thought or question, otherwise, we're going to wrap up. Anybody, final thought or question? No. Jasmine. One final in the chat. All right. Do you guys either robot, if you prefer a girl that is submissive and kind of follows you around, smart, if you like a girl that's independent and kind of does, you know, she's, she's smart, you know? See, let's see what the chat has to say. I wonder. I wonder what the chat. I'm very curious. You know, Um, wait. Didn't didn't we already do it? No, no, no. They kind of spammed it, but it wasn't exactly. Let's let's see what they say. Robot or smart? You know, robot or smart smart this time. One smart. There's two robots already. You know, (laughs) smart robot, robot, robot. (laughs) See, mainly robots. Like I said, like I said, it's just like it's a thing that they're easier to easier to impress, easier to you know entertain. And they kind of like are submissive to you. Sigma says he wants a girl that looks like a KFC bucket. So I don't know. Submissive. <laughs> so pretty much. <laughs> Yo, Zach, uh, all the girls' Instagrams are in the DM. Sorry. All the girls' Instagrams are in the description below. Um, anyways, guys, we're uh, going to wrap there. Thank you guys for tuning in. You could have been doing anything else, but you were here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Uh, thanks to everyone who super chats and supports the show. I really appreciate it. You know, hoping we can start breaking even soon on the show. Been in, been in the red, you know. So, uh, yeah, thanks to our chat mods, Zach. And I don't know if Candace is still here, but thank you, Candace. Thanks to Eric, top producer, legend. Uh, thank you to the panel. Thank you all of you for coming on. It was, it was a, it's probably one of the more positive. <laughs> positive no, nah, uh, we, we had some we good had. discussions. Good <laughs> yeah. We yeah, definitely got some content with like a, like a not so smart <laughs> panel, but it, this we had some good conversations. I feel yeah. like so even though yeah, you no, guys were base as hell. Yeah, based, know. super base panel. Um, <laughs> yeah, and guys, so Tuesday, I'm interviewing Dr. Warren Farrell at approximately 1:30 p.m. Pacific time, and then after that. I will be doing a dating talk. That'll be our usual time, 7 p.m. Pacific. He won't be joining us for the dating talk, but he will be there for a one-on-one interview. Gonna spend probably two, three hours interviewing him. Be sure to tune, tune into that. That's Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. Dating talk, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific. 
Anyways, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and we will see you guys next time. Good night. Later.